Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Emerald Adventure. <laughs> hey, I'm here early for once. Yeah, we basically just started. Last time, we did a lot of things, delivered some packages, finished a gym. We went through the trick house and did the battle tent. Just a lot of stuff happened. And this game just absorbed my soul, and we went for like four hours. And we didn't even notice. But let's continue on past the bike path and talk to people in the city. Oh yeah, we already talked to this guy last time. Just want to make sure. Wouldn't it be great to ride a bike at full speed on Cycling Road? Oh, just rubbing my face I, that I don't have a bike like Brendan, my rival. Hi, do you check out TV at all? I try, but apparently all the all that's on is stuff that my mother would like. They've added a bunch of cool new shows recently. TV is so cool, I've seen my friends on TV just out of the blue. And sometimes they even put you on TV without telling you. I think that's illegal in most places. I wish I would be on TV sometime. That's why I think you should check out TVs wherever you can. Once again, most of the time it's just stuff that my mother would like. If I had a bike, it'd be easy to cycle to Slateport for some shopping. I'd be able to buy Harbor Mail at the Pokemart in Slateport. Is that like a hint that I should buy some Poke Mail for that lady? I don't even know. Let's see if there's anything new in the shopping mart. Use a certain move or use a certain item instead. The trainer's decisions determine how battles turn out, I think. No! There are items that temporarily alleviate the, or elevate, the stats of Pokemon. The ones I know you use in battle are X-Attack and X-Defend. I do believe that there are others like them. And I never use them because they are temporary items and my brain goes, ah, but what if I want to use them later and then I forget to use them ever? We can buy Great Balls. Oh, we could always buy Great Balls for a while now. I know, I, and I never buy the temporary things. Since we have a decent amount of money, we'll buy, I guess, 10 Great Balls, since we'll be getting into that area now. And I guess a few Super Potions, just so that we don't die out there in the world. I do find it hilarious that one of the first items that Zoom ever found was a Nugget, and then never found another one. Who throws these usable items away in Pokeballs at that, and then I don't get the Pokeballs? Honestly, same. I'm an extreme hoarder in Pokemon games. I'm an extreme hoarder in just about any game. Here's a temporary booster usable item. I'll never use it. You know, it's cool to have Pokemon battles and stuff, but if your Pokemon gets hurt, you have to nurse it back to health. That's what Pokemon centers are for. And potions! Hello, Professor Ma'am. And a TV flickering in the background. Woohoo! I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of <laughs> so, that sort of degrading. I think I deserve a bit more respect, like maybe the Rock Smash dude. Woohoo! Anyway, your Pokémon look pretty strong. I like that. Here, take this hidden machine. You are a weird man. That HM contains Rock Smash. If you come across large boulders that block your path, well, use that HM move and smash them right out of your way. Yes, sir, smash rocks aside, I say. Woohoo! You are an odd man. We are in the Pokemon Fan Club. We're on the air. On this program, we get your opinions and I shout them out on your behalf. Isn't it a fantastic program concept? Today, we bring you this report from our reporter. No, you don't say. Next, you're going to tell me the weatherman's going to tell us the weather. Who, uh, who we sent out to the Pokemon Fan Club. So just who is today's featured Pokemon fan? Neon! So let's hear what Neon has to say about Zoom the Zigzagoon. And I will shout out those words of love out loud on TV. Hoo-ha! Let's shout and let's see. What is it about that Zigzagoon that is so attracted, Neon? Let me win! Whoa, such a spectacular declaration. The trainer's love for Zigzagoon comes across loud and clear. Hmm? Oh, there's still more. Let's check it out. Let me see now. We ask Neon, what do you Pokemon mean to you? Beauty! Bravo! That's the best shout I've had all day. Beauty! It makes you want to shout it out loud again and again. Now that we've had a great shout, it's time to say goodbye until next time. So let's all have one last shout all together now. Beauty! 
all these, like, things on, like, these television programs and other, like, mediums, they only last for, like, five seconds. Even if you're riding a bike, wild Pokemon could jump you. Makes sense. Hey, is that Wally? Is he killing people up there? Like his old great-grandpa, Benny. The roads of this town stretch north and south and east and west. Because of that, we get all sorts of people coming through. And what's this? The Marvel Game Corner. I wonder if it's run by a crime syndicate. I wonder if that's where Magma is. Did you know that you can go from here a long way in that direction without changing direction? I might even be able to roll that way. Do you think your Pokemon will want to roll too? I could teach them to we'll roll out if you like. Not really. The worst form of TikTok attention span exists in these video games, I guess. And it's on television! This is the dark future where TikTok becomes mainstream. And it can only be found on TV now. All television spots are now only like a minute long. Why only have, like, one or two programs per hour when you can have 60? Have you been to Rydal's Cycles yet? Rydal, the owner, is a very generous man. He owns a bike shop. I don't think he's generous. I think he's evil. Ride in gravel and shake up your soul. Rydal Cycles. And there are people to murder that way. I think I'll need to do grinding because evil exists. Well, 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 what do we have here? Most energetic customer, me. You may call me Rydal. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Do you come from far away? Yes. I had to travel through a forest over the sea, through many things to get here. Mm hmm. You're saying that you came all this way from Little Root. My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. There are the mock bike and the acro bike. The mock bike is cyclists who want to feel the wind in their bodies, and the acro bike is for those that prefer technical rides. I think I'll go for acro. Wait. Is this a trick? Because I think there are different puzzles based on these. If, just it feels like it. You'd think like the acro one. Ah, this you can do special things. But let's see if he hears. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which one do you choose? I guess I'll go with acro for now. Because I think there might be sections of the game where you need to go fast. And like, because I think I remember like a specific zone that you need to go across the falling like... What's the word? Tiles that will break and fall if you stay on them too long. You need to go fast across them. Yeah, it's basically for different puzzles throughout the region. Well, let's hope that I pick the right one. At least for the immediate. And then again, I think I can always come back and swap it out. Yeah, if you get the urge to switch bikes, just come see me. Thank you. You're weird. I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bike, there's a couple of handbooks in the back. It's a handbook on the mock bike. Well, Sandy slopes. There are small sandy slopes throughout the Hoenn region. The loose, crumbly sand makes it impossible to climb normally, but if you have a mock bike, you can zip up a sandy slope. Hmm. A mock bike is speedy, but it can't stop very quickly. It gets a little tricky to get around a corner. Release the control pad a little before the t corner and slow down. Interesting. Then what's the acro bike do? Ah, bunny hops and wheelies. Press the B button while riding, the front wheel lifts up. You can zip ar uh, around the front wheel using the control pad. This technique is called a wheelie. Keeping the B button pressed, your bike can hop on the spot. This technique is called a bunny hop. You can ride while hopping too. Press the B button and the control pad at the same time to jump. Very interesting. There's a backwards to make it change directions while jumping. Hmm, because I know that there's one place in a tunnel we passed by that had a a thing, but I guess I can just keep the acro for now. We can go back to that place whenever we want. And now I guess I shall set the acro bike register. It even plays different music. Amazing. Let's check out the game corner, why don't we? Hello and welcome. They even have this? Amazing. Coins are needed to play here in the game corner. Interesting. Welcome. You can exchange your coins for prizes here. 
Well, I wonder what prizes there are. Hey, kid, if you want to play here, you need a coin case. I think the young lady next door had one. Go see her. When there's Pokemon, there's always gambling, apparently. Pokemon. How the hell has it not become, like, the pinnacle of, uh, gotcha at this rate? Yeah, I already have. I forgot I talked to you. I don't want to talk to you twice. Crazy woman. Let's talk to the people. That man over there says weird things. He's funny in a weird way. I doubt I'll forget him. Don't say, don't gossip. When I asked this... When I accessed the record corner, the data from what's hot in Duford got updated. Now that bit of data is the same as my friend's. A record corner opened upstairs in the Pokemon Center. I don't know what it's about, but it sounds fun. I'll go check it out. I'm the Bard. Would you like to hear my song? Sure. Shake it. Do the diet dance. But I'm none too happy about the lyrics. How would you like write new lyrics for me? All right. Let's see. What things? Okay. Hey, I didn't change it all, game. I just I just like exited that. And it didn't let me change anything else, it felt like. Maybe I just pressed the wrong thing. I guess the uh, gambling aspect in Pokemon turned into Pokemon Master EX, the mobile game that has gotcha features. Ah. That definitely seems likely. No. Only one phrase may be changed. Well, that's stupid. Fine. You're not gonna let me actually make a song? Then you shall do the egg dance eternally! Suffer the egg dance, little man. You will suffer eternally. Everyone will laugh at you and no one will love you. Well, I guess let's go talk to Wally. He's probably gonna kick my ass. Did I talk to you yet? Does this town stretch you up? You're just like everywhere, everywhere. You can go everywhere. It's because of Pokemon that this boy's got more pep, I suppose, but he's become a bit too peppy. How dare. Your, your, your nephew is happy now. Uh, Uncle, please. I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. Please, may I please? Now, hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokemon, you've grown quite a bit lot stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces of Ralts, we can beat anyone. Reminds me of a little of the little guy in the windmill hut in Ocarina of Time. Maybe. Oh, hi, Neon. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. And I want you and my uncle to understand that. Neon, please, will you have a battle with me? I will crush you, little man, for daring to have a Ralts before me. Neon, thank you. Okay, here I come. Just like your great-great-grandfather, Benny the Ninja, I shall crush you. Oh, this is just mean. Bite. I'm so sorry, Wally. <laughs> I'm sorry that I annihilated you in one move. Look, Uncle, I've become stronger. Night Fang just destroys <laughs> the poor Ralts. I lost. And I took your lunch money. <laughs> Uncle, I'll go back to Verdanturf. Neon, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon to make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Neon, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Verdanturf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. 
<laughs> well done, you destroyed his motivation. Well, it's either me or the Pokemon gym leader. Not even that, the the gym trainers under the Pokemon gym leader. <laughs> I was watching that match. You're friends with that boy, Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold back anything and beat him impressively. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle is all about. Isn't that like... A... I don't know if it's from the anime. I remember it from a big Pokemon fanfic. But apparently there's a character in the anime who's just like, I'm going to use strongest Pokemon all the time. Whereas Ash is like, well, why don't you like try to match their skill level so that there's an actual challenging fight and have fun with it. And that's like a core debate. <laughs> Do you disrespect your opponent by going easy on them or using weaker Pokemon than you actually have? Or do you annihilate them without a care in the world? I idolize trainers like that. I idolize douchebags. <laughs> I'll be cheering for you as you fight children to the death. Marvel City Gym Leader Watson, the cheerfully electrifying man. I don't think I have that much to worry about from you. But at the same time, we shouldn't be... Uh, I'll see, like, who... The, like, the first gym trainer. I'll see the first gym trainer. Since we're gonna go into a gym, I will take the item away from Jughead. And... Uh, I guess I'll give it back to... Nickel is not going to be getting, like, any, like, experience to this one. So we will give Nickel the experience share. I do like that you get the experience share so freaking quickly. And we'll see what level the first person is. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Neon? Watson, the leader of Marville Gym, uses Electric-type Pokémon. If you challenge him with Water-type Pokémon, he'll zap them! Bzzz. The gym leaders canonically have better Pokémon, but the Pokémon League forces them to adhere to the level of their gym badge. I guess they go easy on the player in that way. Just a little side note. Ah, I didn't know that was actually canon. I always heard about, like, the fan, like, headcanon of that gym leaders have different leveled teams for how many badges a player has, which I guess that's what you're saying. It's not their, it's not the gym's badge level, it is the trainer's badge level. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, neat if <laughs> actually canon. But it also makes sense for a functioning, like, organization as the Pokemon League to work. They would have to have something like that. So that one gym leader isn't just using level 100 Pokemon, curb stomping every single, like, beginning child coming to their gym. There needs to be rules and regulations so that people can come in and, like, challenge you. I forget. Is there that many video, like, Pokemon games where you can get, like, badges out of order than you're expected to? And if that changes things, that would be cool if that did change things, but I doubt it. And he's put in switch-controlled doors all over his gym. Eccentric. Hey, go for it. What happens if I walk into it? This isn't electricity, it's a wall! Well, this is gonna be a double battle, unless I change it. Not official, but there are room hack fan games that do that. Very cool. Well, I'll have Zoom and Night Fang do another double battle. Fight me! With my charm and my Pokemon's moves, you'll be shocked! My electric soul, it'll shatter your dreams whole! Whoa, well, yeah! Rom hacks, sorry. I think I... I think my brain, like, knew what you mean by, by room hacks, and I my brain just, like, auto-corrected. We're fighting Kirk? Go back to the Enterprise. Hmm. So I can only assume that... What's-its-name... is going to have, like, a level 23 to 25 ace up in this fight. But spread out the love. Destroy these fools. And of course. Don the paralysis. And double flinch. Take it.
How dare you leer at my beloved Pokemon? Kill him. I do wonder, like, what other Pokemon trainers think because... Like... We're using... Like, we're one trainer using two Pokemon. Whereas they are... Two trainers using one Pokemon. It's very interesting. Ooh, double team. I think that raises my evasion. Let's see, what moves do I want to forget? Focus's power to raise the critical hit ratio. I don't trust that. Create solutionary copies to raise evasiveness. Hmm. I guess I'll get rid of focus energy because... Wasting a turn to raise the chance of that feels silly. And then somebody will come in and say, You fool! Focus energy is the greatest move ever! It's all about the experience. Why do you have two Metites? Metatites. Mananites. How dare you almost live. And quit leering at my beloved team. They've done nothing to you. Poor Zoom. Now Zoom gets revenge. <laughs> right as I'm saying about critical hits. Use the tackle attack and beat him back. And a Volt Orb. I don't think I have much to worry about from you. You meditate, but you're soon gonna die. Zoom, kill him. Good. Good Zoom. Paralysis is such a worthless thing. Paralysis either wrecks you, or it does nothing. There is no in-between. Either paralysis makes it so you can't play the game, or paralysis has no effect on you whatsoever. No in-between, no nothing. I meant to use headbutt. Oh well, he's gonna die now. Crack that Voltorb open like a everlasting gobstopper. I'm shocked by your power. That was plugged in, amped up, overdriven electric man. Hmm. Considering things, I think that my team might be good against the man in there. The gym man. I already forget his name. Names go in one ear and out the other for me. Never heard a truer statement and I usually end up with the bad part. <laughs> Ain't that just the way it goes? It's just like me with Sand Attack. I use Sand Attack three times in a row. They never miss. The enemy uses Sand Attack once. I miss three times in a row. That's my fate. We'll keep Night Fang and Zoom in the head. Well, let's see. Who's closer to leveling up? Uh, next level in 340. And, uh, Zoom's the closer one. Right, Zoom? You get to have first dibs on murder. Meanwhile, we will swap out the experience share and give it to Striker. So we can spread the experience around. The experience of murder. Living vicariously through your tree mates to uh, feel pain and destruction. I guess you have Shane and Stryker that are resisted against teams typing. Yeah, if we really come down to it. If we really, really want to fight Stryker. No, not Stryker. The, the gym leader. We don't have much to worry about. This gym's got puzzles. Isn't it fun? I'm mostly here for fighting. My Zigzagoon's better than your Zigzagoon. Her name's Zoom. Kill him. You bastard. Well, no, no problem. In all my experience, Sand Attack is worthless and you're gonna die. 
Because the funny thing is just like, as time's gone on, I've like cared less and less about the type chart. I'm just like, I like this Pokemon. This Pokemon is like, did you just say Gulpin? Hey Gulpin, would you like to link my moves, man? Kill. Damn you, Sand Attack, you whore. Well, luckily for me, I'm not using any special attack. Unless Headbutt for some reason counts as special attack. It is the special attack of normal. Don't you dare poison my... You whore! For your sins against reality, I am going to kill you with Night Fang. That's the wrong button, I'm a fool. Night Fang, eat this grub. Eat him alive. Don't get another crit. Good. You bastard. I guess bite would be like... Special, but we'll keep doing it. Maybe it'll make him flinch. How dare you. And now they'll fall asleep. And we'll just have to wait until he wakes up. How dare you pounce Night Fang in his sleep. He deserves better, you bastard. Go back to your Link shop. Let me remember moves from you. I think this is the longest one of my Pokemon have been asleep from Yawn. Jesus Christ. Now kill him. You hurt my Pokemon. That is very rude. It's no fun to lose. Don't worry, Ben. You will lose a lot of things in life. For you are the uncle of Spider-Man. Once again, we immediately run to the healing station. At this point, I wonder why they don't just have, like, a mini Nurse Joy assistant in every gym. So they're just like, oh, you are you got your ass kicked? Well, on your way out, heal up your Pokemon. I mean, they I guess they would have to for, like, the gym leader. Like, in the back, there's just a Nurse Joy waiting for him to come back. Every typing is either physical or special before the physical special split in the next generation. Where moves, depending on its context and name, is either physical or special. Yep. I do remember that. And then they made it, like, split. This is not a puzzle. Oh, hey, you got an item. Neat. Got a super potion. Very nice. Now, the question is, who do I want to fight in there? I mean, I guess if we really wanted to... Mm, eh, we'll throw Shane in. And have Night Fang as backup. Fight me! I love shiny things! I trained her Watson. There ain't no way I'll lose easily. I'm gonna kick your ass. Ah, so that's what a bug child raises to be. A bug maniac. A Voltorb and a Louise. I forget. I think a Pokemon like Elumise, Elumise, was my first shiny in Pokemon Y, I believe. Bullet seed him. Bite that one. Also, that Voltorb has no gender. I just realized that. Interesting. Yeah, we went with four volleys. Huzzah! How dare you tackle my beloved darling? How dare you charm my beloved darling? Go ahead and smack him and uh, bite the bug more. Well, at least my... Eh, go ahead and bullet more. And tackle. 
Oh, nice. Mine's more boring, like the guaranteed shiny Gyarados and Johto. That was my first. Well, yeah, I think that was also my first, like, actual shiny. It's just that I'll always remember my first shiny in Y was Illumis, I think. One bug, bug Pokemon like that. It's been five billion years. Why are you doing flippy dips, Magnemite? Why are you being a weird man? It's been a long time since I've, like, focused on shinies, so I don't even really remember all that much about, like, what Pokemon I've gotten shiny as over the years. Come on. Why can't the grass tear down the metal? Especially because it got, like, super hit on my poor man. So more than likely, we will focus on the Bug Maniacs Pokemon next. And then deal with Magnemite next. Not the Sonic Boom. Jesus fucking Christ. Guess I could swap you out for Zoom. <laughs> or maybe Striker. Maybe give Striker a time to shine, but... Hmm. I will bring in you, because the headbutt's just a nice move. Wait, game? Oh, and then I need to select the other one. What? I only try and hunt my favorite, the whooper line in every game that's in. Then it's all up to randomness I get more each game. Yes, yeah, so what do you mean Zoom has already been selected? Game. Uh, I don't understand this system. I want to move Night Fang out. Zoom has already been selected. What do you mean by that? Game. I don't. <laughs> Am I going insane? Alright, that's not what I wanted, game. <laughs> but okay, we'll do it anyway. I only wanted to move one Pokemon out. Then the game was just like, okay, we'll go crazy. I did not understand that at all. I figured I was just like, hey, can I just move one? I did not understand that system at all. I guess you can only swap, you can't just swap one out, which is annoying. Come on, press through the confusion. Huzzah. I think you tried switching it on Shane's turn. You need to, ah, that's true. But then why would uh, Night Fang also go through? If it was... Hmm. Again, I just think it would be much better designed if it was just like, Hey, I want to swap this one out. I think that would just be better. It just seems very odd. Oddly designed. Now, this isn't going to accidentally send in... Take out Zoom, is it, game? I just think that was just a very weird way to do it. Because what it really felt like was pick two Pokemon to swap out two Pokemon, not what it actually was. It gets a little better in the newer games. At least th there's that at least. Quit doing quick attack, you... Of course you get a critical hit, you asshole. Taking advantage of me not understanding your stupid ass moves game. Your bullshit game. Because I feel like logic dictates select the Pokemon you want to swap out as target, and then select Pokemon you want to, like, replace them with. Just feels odd how they did it. Feels very weird. <laughs> this is the first iteration of it, uh, after all, if I do remember. Yeah, because I, like, maybe there could have been one in, like, a console game, but I don't think so. For the love of God, break through it. Good. Get out of here, you stupid Magnemite.
And Vital throw the bug in, unless Shane gets there first. Because it's just like... Once again, it just it feels like it would be obvious to make a select and go system. And not so much like what they did. Sure, you could say that it's like the first iteration. But it just, uh, that also could be that it's just biased hindsight where I've played games so often and so more and it's so long. Because this is like, what, 2004, 2005? But still. <laughs> I guess the spinoffs like Stadium had it first, but no mainline games. And plus, I don't know how they did swapping out, so who knows? Maybe they did it the same way. And plus, with the games like this, you'd think that it would function quite simply. Like, you would just go in and, like, it would be like, you are on this Pokemon's turn. Would you like to spend it swapping one Pokemon? Like, I feel like that would be their most immediate decision than, like, making a whole new swap system. <laughs> the same from memory, but I've only played Stadium briefly. Well, Watson, let's see. Who do I want to kick your ass? I guess I'll have Night Fang lead, and then once he gets damaged too much, I'll send someone else in. I've given up on my plans to convert the city I have. And so I put my time to making door traps in my gym. Oh, now that we're... What are we doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? <laughs> now that is amusing. Then I, Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. That feels like a threat. Ah, level 20. I feel like I should have went and grinded a bit. Everlasting gobstopper, this bitch. Don't get crit. Of course. Be wary, this is the first hard gym leader, if you're not using Mudkip, in my opinion. We'll have to see. Yeah, that's why I said that I probably should have done some grinding beforehand. And you know what? We'll be a bit cheesy. Super potion for my Night Fang. And then I'll bite you. Why? That's rude. <laughs> Get fucked, Watson, you self exploding asshole. Ah, uh, you thought you were gonna fuck me? Well, surprise, I'm the one who does the fucking. Self-destructing asshole. Bullet seed. Only went for two. How dare. Well, let's do Leer. Lower his defense some. And he uses Leer back. Then I shall bullet seed you first. How dare you do a quick attack? That's illegal. You went over the speed limit of the gym. Aha, full volley of four. A volley of five? Ha <laughs> ha. Bullet seed again. You bastard. Why couldn't you use this, uh, the potion on your on your electrode and have it explode right afterwards? More bullet seed. More bullet seed. Make this place become a reservation of trees. And right after I got a five, a five volley, this guy goes and ruins it. Kill him. Don't even let him attack again. You had to only do one more, you fool. And uh, never mind. This guy is a fool and decided to 
Raise the attack for an attack that's never coming. Kill. Oh, you're gonna do quick attack, are you? You. <laughs> Again! I am the victor! I am the victor of surviving at 1 HP! What the fuck? <laughs> you got this, Shane. He does indeed. He's stuck on to survive. What the hell? A magneton? Well, Jughead, you're probably gonna die, but this guy's gonna be part steel, so vital throw time. It's probably going to annihilate you, but I'm giving you a chance. I gave him a chance and he failed. He was severely underleveled, but oh well. Well, I'll send Stryker out to uh, tank a bit while I heal up some people. But that was friggin' hilarious. No, not that. A double survive. I probably should have leveled up Jughead a bit more. That fighting type power would have done very nice in this. <laughs> Shane has plot armor. Well, he is. <laughs> Just hilarious. Quit sonic booming. Don't hit yourself in confusion for irony. Ah, you bastard. Bullet seed. Quit Sonic Booming! Ah, oh, you fucking par paral paralysis demon. Let's see how much this does. Not much. It only healed two. Very rude game. Ah. I wonder why Sonic Boom does more. Blast him. Multiple times. And of course it doesn't do much. This is annoying. I hate you. Why are you part steel type? Why does steel type have to exist? It's dumb. I'm eternally gonna just not take damage. Ah, my favorite. Bullshit. Now I have to, like, lower your defense. Once every two turns. Because I don't want to give him, like, a chance to get a crit and just nuke him. Sonic Boom does 20 damage regardless of stat changes. Eh. So basically, he was trying to bait me into leaving Shane unprepared. Alright, so he's going to heal again and then do another bullet seed. But I wonder if that means that Sonic Boom is kind of bad later on because it only does 20 damage. Then again, if you need just a guaranteed 20 damage, who knows. Aha! You missed, you bastard! You fuck, that was a wasted turn. Now it's come to haunt me. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh, now, during a actual fight, you're like, Paralyze is gonna do everything. Kill. Do lots of damage. Well, apparently Lear did literally nothing. This is annoying. <laughs> How come I can't just have a wall that forever only takes one damage per attack? Uh, game. But of course, in the game, we'd just be like, ah, well, actually, this is fucking bullshit. It should not have that much defense, game, and you know it. 
but I can't send out anything else because it would just instantly die. Maybe Zoom. But there would be hardly a point to because Zoom would take more damage than Shane is from the Shockwave anyway. Ah, that was a critical hit. I don't believe you. I did one less damage than usual. We're making progress. Oh, come on, game. Why? Quit wasting my time. This is just a time-wasting asshole. Hopefully Watson doesn't have an extra potion in his pocket. He probably does! He probably will! He does that, I'm just gonna reset. Back to my save and do grinding. To maybe level up the boy, Jughead. So yeah, if he heals this Magneton, we are out. Yay, you missed. Now you're going to be paralyzed. Ah, oh, we took advantage of him not being able to move. At long last. If only Jughead got his vital throw off and it just like one shot him. That would have been amazing. Well, thank God for the extra super potions that I bought. Now this makes me wonder if anybody has, like, made fan games that uses the Pokemon Legends Arceus, like, uh, fight system. That would be interesting. You fuck. And I'm holding true. Fuck you, game. I'm going to go... and just not deal with this. <laughs> I saved beforehand. But it's just like, no, game. No. No. I'm not gonna put up with that. That annoyance is dumb. Where well, I'm a Pokemon that just doesn't take any damage. I actually uh, tried doing that RPG, uh, RPG Maker XP, but I lost interest quickly on the project. Understandable. There are some trainers around the town, so we're going to level up Jughead, if only so it can destroy the goddamn Magneton. Because fuck that Magneton. Eedly he, I'm gonna take no damage. We're going to annihilate your family. Ah, so the daycare's out and about. So this is the daycare. This is a twin battle. Mm. Yeah, these are basically the two. I guess I could maybe put Striker in there. To level up some, maybe. Hmm. But Night Fang, hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. The Magneton will be annoyance. I'm gonna tag up, uh, tag up with my super senior student partner and beat you. No, you're not. Unless you're right, randomly level 30. Level up Jughead as well, maybe. Oh, I gave him the uh, experience share, so he will no matter what. Somebody's gonna get experience shared. Shall be him. I will just use pound. Annihilate this child. Goodbye, Zigzagoon. You are dead. And Shane leveled up. Huzzah. And Jughead leveled up. Huzzah. Gun bullet seed and bite. With so many menus in this game, <laughs> can't expect everyone to be like, Ah, yes, you press this button at this time code. Well, basically did as much damage as the bullet seed anyway. Kill. Then again, if I really wanted to, I could probably give the quick claw to Jughead. And then just keep on trying. 
Oh no, I'm sorry, Anna. I let you down. Yes, you did. You let down your super senior. We can't take this line down. You will come back, won't you? We'll just fight all the trainers around town. Listen, can I get you to uh, battle the Pokemon I'm raising? Your Pokemon will not be raised. It will be put into a grave. Six! I guess they're all going to be tiny, but still six. How dare you use pound back. You're plagiarizing me. We'll stay out for now. Wouldn't it have been hilarious if it was just randomly six level 30 Pokemon? I'm a Pokemon Razor Man. I have 55 billion Pokemon here to kill you. Hmm. Guess I'll send Nightfang out. Just so that it too can get some experience. Maybe get a get to level 20. Just annihilate. I'm using. Huh, he sent them out of order. I wonder why. Chew upon the fighting child. Eat him alive. Yes, we will. Hey, Striker, maybe it'll be your time to shine if steel is weak to electricity. Which, Brain says, metal weak to electricity, so hopefully. And this is our time to test that with a mere child. Thunder Wave. Oh. Oh, it's just for paralysis. That's lame. We don't even have any proper thingity things. Darn. Well, fine then. Because I'm bored, we'll send in Nickel. Come on, Nickel, go and kill. Because why not? We will slowly kill this Aaron child. Steel is an annoying type for me, apparently. Because it's just like, ah, yes, we do. Just won't allow you to do damage to any Pokemon ever. And Steel-type also do that. That's <laughs> bullshit, man. Fine. We'll actually send in Jughead as well and make experience for this fight useless. Jughead, kill this child. Quit hardening. Go ahead, send out the Pucciana. Vital throw this child. You've you raised yours superbly. No, it's just that you're... I'm going to redouble my training. Would you come take look in on us? Hmm, who should I fight this guy with? Guess we can continue of trying to level Shane up slightly. I'm in the middle of the triathlon, but whatever, let's have a battle. That seems like a poor design decision. Well, a poor d decision on your part, Mr. Triathlete. And you only have one Pokemon. That's a bird. Why do you only have one bird with you? Kill. Spit seeds into their eyes. I 
That's an interesting move to use. Absorb their souls. It won't heal you much, but I want to do it anyway. And now, pound that turkey. Kill them. Not the fury attack. The attack that never ends. Goodbye, Duduo. You are now dead. I ran out of energy! Well, that's what happens when you just pace back and forth eternally. What's your favorite video game? I honestly don't know. There are way too many. Like... Yeah, there's just way, way too many video games out there to choose. I'm a, I'm a fan of, like, XCOM 2 and Chimera Squad. I really like uh, Warcraft 3, non-reforged. And Starcraft 2 is pretty good. As well as the original one. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's got to be up there. There's just way too many games. A Pokeblock ingredient? Sure. I don't even think I've ran into Pokeblock creation yet. And then there's also, like, unique games like, uh, Linehead Studios Black and White. Let's see, who should I find for you? Hmm. There's just so many games out there. And then I guess since everyone's kind of beat, we can try and have Jughead fight on his own. I do my triathlon training with Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. I try to have Pokemon kill me so I can run away from them. Let me guess, your brother was down there too. Kill that bird. I feel I've had to pick one. It would probably be Skyrim or a really niche franchise. Time Splitters that's been dead since long. Wasn't Second Sight supposed to be like... Related to Time Splitters? I forget. But for me personally, if I had to, like, choose, like, from the Elder Scrolls games, I would probably choose Wada Wada, uh, Morrowind. Morrowind's just very nice. Granted, there's probably more to do. <laughs> the air's tasty here. You'd think he would be a trainer. God, there's so many trainers here. Then again, I think, hmm, because, like, maybe we could... Oh, who, who's calling? Oh, hello, Neon. I just wanted to tell you that my uncle bu bought me a Pokenav. Now I can get in touch with you anytime, Neon. And just called to tell me that. But yeah. Just for some reason, I prefer Morrowind to Skyrim, even though Skyrim probably has more to do overall. I just like the uniqueness of Morrowind. And I just feel, like, progressively sad that the Elder Scrolls has become less and less, like, interesting. It's become more refined, but less interesting as time goes by. I've been going back and playing Elder Scrolls. Uh, but I've only managed to get through Oblivion so far, and I was a bit disappointed in its main ending. It's been a long time. I suppose so. Maybe. I don't really remember the main quest of... Diddly D, Oblivion, all that much. I remember the broad sweeping, but not the specifics anymore. I really enjoyed the main quest of Morrowind. <laughs> the aroma of flowers has a magical power. It cleanses us of body and soul. Go, 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 Pokemon 1, 2, and 3! Does this mean it's going to be a 6-on-6 six six double match? Fuck. Well, at least I'm going to get a lot of experience out of this, I suppose. And you guys are weak. Arm thrust the dog. And pound the salad. Don't poison the boy! Don't make flinch the boy! Slowly but surely, we will get experience. Yeah, I. it seems that Jughead is going to be an eternal, like, 
mainstay of my team, if only because of these freaking steel types. I tried playing Daggerfall in Arena, the first Elder Scrolls games, and I stopped within the first 15 minutes. The controls were not enjoyed to me. Very understandable, because they are very old games. Very odd games, so... Not surprising that they weren't to your taste. I mean, a lot of people even say the same thing about, like, Morrowind. With them feeling that... Morrowind's, like, uh... Older system of... You attack and then it rolls, like, your skill versus your chance to hit to decide if you hit or not. Some people just really don't like that, which is completely understandable. I do f have a little bit of umbrage with the people who go, I'm going to use a mod so that that goes away because that completely breaks the balancing of the game. Fake out. A first turn, first strike move that causes flinching. Hmm. Well, I'm not using focus energy. Like, someday I might try Arena and Daggerfall myself, but I do not expect myself to like them. Because they are old and ever so slightly wonky. I think I know the least about Morrowind, but I do want to play it one day. It's very interesting. Personally, I think that it holds up well enough. It does have a bit of oddity here and there. But overall, I think it works. I think it's very nice. The story is cool. The concepts are cool. The spells are cool. It's just very interesting, especially with, like, the things you can do. I'm trying to think. It's just been a while. It's been a while since I played Morrowind. But I just I like it. It's nice. Oh, come in, Pokemon. Are you okay? Pokemon 1, 2, and 3. That odor, it's a Pokenav. We must register each other. How do you smell my Pokenav? Do you, like, smell the lithium-ion battery in it? But yeah, Morrowind is just a lot of fun. I love the... One thing I do love about the Elder Scrolls series is that, like, every main one seems to have been composed by probably my favorite video game composer. I forget his name in the moment, though. He's done music for Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim. I think he also did music for Icewind Dale. I really need to replay Icewind Dale. It is a tough, uh, like, Baldur's Gate-esque RPG. Jeremy Soule, yes. His music is just so damn good. Very good. Wait, need to be careful. Okay, so the first Pokemon he's going to have out is a Electrode. Night Fang will be in the front. Then he'll switch to the Magneton. So I'll beat him with Jughead, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, Jeremy Soul, his music. The only other, like, composer that really sticks in my mind... I forget his name as well. But... They did the, like, the music for Assassin's Creed 1, I think Assassin's Creed 2, and, uh, I think they also did the music for, uh, what is it? What's that game series where the first one is you play as the, uh, the God of War, like, War, then in the second game you play as, uh, Death. It's fantastic whenever I need to rest. I always put on the Skyrim OST. It's very good. Of course you're gonna... And that's gonna kill Night Fang, isn't it? Because he didn't heal. Nope! Night Fang survived the self-destruct! Good job, Night Fang! You are winner of the day! And now he's gonna send out Electric. Of which... Zoom! You can take this one on! But for the uh, composer that did, like, the Assassin's Creed, some of the Assassin's Creeds, they're the the one that created uh, Ezio's family theme. 
which has been reused again and again and again across the the franchise as the let motif of Assassin's Creed, basically. I thought we were talking about God of War first, but then the death part threw me off. Yeah, I was just thinking of just like, what is the game series that I forget the name of? Where you play as the aspect of war. And it's like a hack and slash, beat em up, Devil May Cry esque game, Metroidvania. It's just been a long time since I thought on it, and I forget the names. Oh, your paralysis is hurting my sea whore. I suppose I could try and use Absorb on you. Quit using Quick Attack and die. Darksiders, yes. My brain was going Darkstalkers, but no, that's the Capcom fighting game that they refuse to make more of. It's just like Dark S something, but I couldn't remember what it exactly was. Went three times. We are the victor. And I'll be careful. I'm going to go ahead and heal the boy. Because more than likely, he is going to get a crit on me. And it'll kill him even though I super healed him. Ha! You bitch. I knew you were going to do that. I felt it in my bones that you were going to get a critical hit. I knew it. I am a psychic. I need to draw Sneasler more. Sneasler is a good Pokemon. Oh, and another thing, actually. Uh, kind of funny thing. When I when I was reading through, I think the Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, diddly d, TV tropes. Apparently, I forget exactly what it was, but there's a mention of uh. The ruins, like, because in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Silver, there's an Arceus event in a place that's uh, the ruins, but in, like, uh, Legends Arceus, it's referred to as a region, so even more connection for our Pokemon Legends Johto game. I've actually started playing some Capcom's older fighting games now after I've played Street Fighter VI. I have heard good things about Street Fighter VI. If I were better at fighting... You whore. Why? You bastard, what the fuck? Why did that do so much damage to Jughead? What the fuck? It's bullshit. I'm awful at them, but it's still fun with friends. And then there's me. I have no friends. <laughs> In fact, like, a long, long time ago, there was a friend that I talked to a lot back in the day. Uh, they're like, hey, you should get them's fighting herds and we'll play some time is because like in the past we play like Skullgirls together So it's like yeah, sure. I got it. I told them and then we like never talk to each other again. I Probably should have given Jughead the The quick claw come to think of it Who else? Definitely need to heal up Shane. Probably should have healed up the other one. Game, I beg you. I beg you. For the love of God, let Jughead go first. Please. Because I don't think he's going to survive. God damn it. Why is it fast and sturdy? That's so bullshit. Why does it do so much goddamn damage, game? Fuck off. That's bullshit, man. Genuinely. Why is it sturdy and fast? Bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. I swear if you survive after getting super affected, I'd be angry. 
I've started torturing myself with game series I usually tend to dislike this year. I don't know why, but uh, it has made me appreciate them more. Fighting games is one of them. Completely understandable. Why the fuck did it do so much damage? Fucking bullshit. Make it flinch. Flinch eternally, you stupid little fuck. So annoying. Why does it do so much goddamn damage? <laughs> the order of, uh, which has completely taken over my life is Souls-like. I like Souls-like games for the most part. Depends on how they're constructed in the end. I really don't like this Magneton. It's bullshit. It is genuinely a badly designed thing. We're gonna do 5 billion damage. Because, you know, that's fun. We're gonna make it super fast. Because that's fun. Also, everything does, like, no damage against it. That's fun. I might as well just reset and hope for better RNG. Give quick claw to the boy. In fact, I'm gonna do that. Fuck this. Fuck that Magneton, man. Badly designed, I say. It should not be defense fast and damaging. Pick one. Maybe two, if you want a super duper badass. Bad design to have one Pokemon do everything. And I forgot to save earlier. I fucking hate you, game. Fucking hate you. You're bullshit. I hate you. Die. I hate that Magneton so much. Why does it do so much? It just shouldn't. It shouldn't be able to do anything. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to go grind again. Because why the fuck are you like this game? I, ne I never thought that Souls-like or Souls games in general would be, uh, be so great, but after trying Dark Souls 3 in January this year, I've changed my whole stance on the genre. It really just depends on the game itself. They can be very good. At the same time, they can be pretty bad. Mostly not from FromSoft. FromSoft makes good games. I really like Sekiro. Sekiro is probably my favorite Souls-like. A lot of people swear by Bloodborne themselves. But yeah, Sekiro is my personal favorite Souls-like of the age. just very fun. Very nice. Sadly, a lot of games looked at the success of uh, the Souls-like genre and basically just went, ah, oh, we're gonna try and do that, and then they just, like, don't. They just don't understand what makes Souls-likes very good. Granted, it is quite anomalous sometimes, what makes Souls like good. That's the only one next to Bloodborne because I'm broke and don't own a PlayStation that I've never played. Sekiro is a departure from FromSoft's other games. Focuses more on just the combat rather than like the customization and like a choose your own playstyle kind of thing. But I just really like the aesthetic, the feel, the multiple endings. It's just a grand old time. Granted, I think it can... I think a lot of people have, like, uh, come together to say that the final boss of Sekiro is the hardest FromSoft boss. I don't know how accurate that is. Mostly because I didn't really have... Well, no, maybe he was pretty hard, but I, I had a lot of fun with him. It didn't take... Really, <laughs> Melina from Elden Ring kicked my ass quite a bit. I think it took me three days to beat her. It's 
been a long time, though, so I don't remember quite. Melina took me seven hours to beat. Good for you. Once again, probably it's one of those things where it's like, mostly just depends on like your strategy, your build, and just how, how fast you get the flow to the boss. But I eventually got it. I eventually got it down. I spent an entire night trying to defeat her. Was well, a very fun boss. I'm still trying to... Wondering who would I consider harder. Melina or the final boss from... Sekiro. Because Sekiro's one... Also, like, kind of goes all over the place. Wait, if you ever get the opportunity to play Sekiro, very much recommend it. Again, might not be to your personal tastes. A lot of people are like, oh, it's not... <laughs> I think it's mostly due to the fact that they were so used to, like, how... Dark Souls did Souls like from FromSoft. That they didn't really give Sekiro a fair shake when they're like, Ah, oh, I can't customize my character. I can't use different weapons. Technically, you can use, like, different sub-weapons. Which really go all over the place and make it a very interesting experience to play. It's just a very fun time. Maybe sometime I... It's been years since I played Sekiro. So maybe sometime I can do Sekiro on stream. Have fun with it. Also, I'm gonna say it. Whitney's milk tank ain't got nothing on Watson's magneton. Maybe it's just because I haven't grinded as much as I did before. Maybe I need to just, like, supremely wipe out all of the trainers to the left. To really give myself a chance. Oh, hey, you found an item. What item did you not find? An antidote. Very nice. <laughs> that milk tank gives me PTSD. Meanwhile, I don't think I was that destroyed by it. Again, could have just been that I grinded and don't remember. <laughs> Excuse me. Bleh. It's been ages since I played Crystal. In fact, it's probably been a year now. Mm. But yeah, Whitney didn't bother me all that much. <laughs> yeah. It really is like, uh, it really does feel like this game, at least when it comes to the gym leaders, is a little bit more difficult. Like the first lady, her nose pass was pretty difficult. Then Brawly, he was difficult. And now goddamn Watson's Magneton. All out here to eat my soul. We'll plant these pokey block things again. They upped the difficulty a bit from Ruby and Sapphire. Ah. I guess I could see that. They're like, ah, maybe a lot of people played Sapphire and Ruby. So we're gonna make the third version super hard. And now I'm suffering. And the hilarious thing is that I have done some grinding, just not super duper super grinding. We're gonna go heal up Shane and then fight more of the Pokemon trainers to the left, because there was a huge chunk of them. And so long as they're not in the same level league as Watson, we shouldn't be terrible.
The gym leaders were a lot easier in those. It's like they knew to hurt me. Ah, let me guess. Wally? Yeah. Got that again. I guess that's measured in steps. Either that or time. But I don't think it would activate if you just, like, stood around. The triathlete has come to try and fight me. Their do duo will die today. If you're a triathlete, then where's your bike? Did an Ash catch him destroy it? Kill the do duo. How dare you super effective my my man. My Velociraptor looking plant man. Stop hitting. And die! Watson, for example, only had three Pokemon in Ruby Sapphire, but he still had a Magneton as the ace. So what you're saying is they just, just slapped in an extra one behind his ace. How rude. Suppose I'll have to do far more grinding than I'm currently doing. Either that or type composi composition. Probably a combination of both. Then again, it is kind of rude that the... <laughs> he just comes out a swinging with his ace like that. The self-destructing Voltorb. The never-dying, super-fast, super-strong, damaging, super-defensive Magneton. Well, let's get into a double battle with these two. Fight me. Concentrate on getting the win. That's how I battle. Isn't it nice to battle while looking at pretty flowers? But if you're looking at the pretty flowers, you're not taking the fight seriously. We must kill them. Honestly, the one that scares me the most is the Duo, so he must die. You've yet to face his ace, the unrevealed fourth one. A second Magneton, probably. I could see it being that. That was the most pointless critical. But so what you're saying, though is that they kept his ace, but then they added a Pokemon that's better than his ace. Which is just very rude. Granted, it's not really that the Magneton is, like, hard, it's just annoying. Like this. I'm going to never let you play the game. Because again, it's fast, does lots of damage has a ton of defense because of its steel typing. It's just a bother more than anything. That's why I have to power level Jughead. See, she has the right idea. Don't, don't waste my a time getting angry over a loss. I'll just train. The only reason I really got angry was because game didn't save Mostly because I was going to save, then I was like, oh, I'll put the Quick Claw in Jughead's hands, and then forgot to save. Let me demonstrate the power of hidden with a psychic Pokemon. The power hidden in a psychic Pokemon. I forgot to read it properly. I'm going to kill you for wagging that in my face. That's the Pokemon that I want. Kill it. Kill it dead. Gun. <laughs> Shane, use gun. Kill. Double team all you want. You can't double team out of a gun. I should really take a look at the map and see where we're going, actually. Astonishing. You didn't even hit me. 
Let's see, Pokenav. Map. So this is l going to Verdanturf Town. Which leads, ah, to the cave. That reminds me. We actually got an HM, but I completely forgot about it. Do we have anybody that can learn Rock Smash? Probably diddly do. I know where you can find it currently if you want one, but it'll take time to level it up. That's true. If it's nearby, I wouldn't mind. I'm gonna give it to Jughead, because why not? He's probably gonna... Wait. Actually. Zoom. We can give it to Zoom, our resident kind of HM slave. What should we lose? Honestly, Tail Whip, because we don't really use it. We just headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. We're a Street Fighter 6 E Honda up in here. And it seems that Zoom also found an item. I'll only tell you if you want to. After all, you're playing blind. I don't uh, know if you like backseating that much. But so long as you like, say, hey, <laughs> would you like this piece of information? And I, if I say, yeah, I don't mind it, then go right ahead. Because I know it's around here somewhere. But at the same time, maybe if I run into it, my reaction would be cool. Who knows? Once a bug catcher, always a bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Eh, yeah, go right ahead. I don't mind it. It'll give me hope in this dark day against the evil Magneton that is out here to eat my soul. This is a beefy dust ox. And now I'm confused. How dare you? It's in the route where Wa uh, where Wally found one. Ah, so it's just a really rare uh, encounter right there, so, hmm. And here I thought that it was just like... Because I could have sworn that I heard that it was impossible to find Ralts there, actually. So how dare the game make it a rare encounter for me, but not for Wally. Wally should have to... <laughs> it would have been funny if it's just like Wally was just going around there again. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill Shane. How dare you. Confusion is bullshit. Fuck you, game. You're a bastard and nobody loves you. But we're almost like back to where we began anyway, since we have Rock Smash. So I guess it's not like... Super duper crazy or anything. And plus we can get extra leveling on the way. Yeah, because if it's a rare encounter... I, pro I probably would never have gone back to try and find one. Kill him. Make it flinch. Big gone, you bastard. My ineptitude also remains unchanged. Mood. I also forgot that I have a bike now. I should be using my bike more. But off we go. I'm more triathlon than you, man, because I actually have a bike. What do you think? Are these flowers pretty? I planted them all. I shall ride all over them. Destroy them all. And I found a great ball. It's a 4% encounter, so one every 25 encounters, theoretically. When in reality, it's probably, like, much lower, because the world is mean. Would be hilarious if I go in there, like, the one time. 
please allow me to evaluate if you've reached your Pokemon properly. Or like, it'd be hilarious if my first, like, step in the grass, I immediately get hit by with, with a Ralts. Could be potentially hilarious. Kill the bird! Kill it now! Destroy the bird! We can also destroy this Pokemon too! Kill it with a gun! Be gone, you fool. I guess if I really wanted to, I could try and grind the battle tent to buy, like, stat-ups. If I wanted to go crazy. We should also probably level up Night Fang, because he's the one that's gonna gotta face the Voltorb. That always self-destructs like a loser. Eat the salad. How dare you poison Night Fang. With a critical hit, no less. You're a monster. Kill it. Kill it now. I wonder if in the real, like, Pokemon world, if there are regulations against poison types. Because it's just like, how many people have a poison type on their team just so other people's Pokemon are eternally poisoned if even if they lose. Oh, you beat me. You beat me. Well, now your Pokemon's poisoned. Ha <laughs> ha. Then I guess the meta of just having Pokemon that can't be poisoned would arise. Kill the marrow with a gun. Destroy it. Devour its soul for daring to look like a Pikachu that is not a Pikachu. This adorable cat must also die. Which obviously means we shall set it up on a blind date with a Waylord. Then everyone would walk around with the dreaded Magneton or its pre Evo. One person shows up with a Magnazone and nobody knows what that even is. In my will to never get poisoned again, my Magneton became grander than anything else. Wait, do I have any more of Pekka Berries? No, I don't have any Pekka Berries. I can bounce all over the place. We have to super level up Jughead for the sole purpose of being our fuck this steel type in particular mon. And I mean, technically, somebody having a Magnazone at this point wouldn't be crazy. There's one flying about in Hisui, so it's not even that insane. And now we're in Verdanturf. Verdanturf Town. The windswept highlands with the sweet fragrance of grass. Ah, there was a Pokemon Center just right here. My Pokemon and I, we've been riding a hot winning streak, so I decided to make my battle tent debut in this town. Did you see the cave next to the Pokemart? There's a guy in there who's trying to bust up boulders so he can bust out through the other side. It'd be great if we can get through. It'll make, make it easy to visit Rustboro. This feels like a very sleepy town, this. The way the winds blow, volcanic ash is never blown in this direction. 
The air is clean and delicious here. Living here should do wonders for even frail and sickly people. Is that a plush or a Pokemon? Let me see your Pokemon. I'll check to see how much it likes you. Oh, your Pokemon. It likes you quite a lot. It seems you uh, to want to be babied a little. All right, then. I give my Pokemon a bunch of drugs. Oh, no. Not WandaVision. Oh, Neon, Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. Legends Arceus really did make me appreciate the history of Pokemon World more. Yeah. I really do like that it, like, just is such a nice game. Story, character, everything. My daughter's boyfriend is very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel nonstop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. I lost to you, Neon, but I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my routes, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Neon. I'm going to become stronger than you. When I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. And just like your great-great-great-great-grandfather, Benny, you will lose. Far away, deep in Evergrand City, is the Pokemon League. The trainers who gather there are all frighteningly well-skilled. In the Pokemon League, I think the rules say that you have to battle the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose to any of them, you have to begin your challenge again from the very first one. So yeah, it's just a small town, small market. Got anything special? Nest Ball? That works better on weaker Pokemon? Yes. Or you can save scum like real gamers. That's true. Yes. This will be perfect for my routes catching. And we'll definitely need more of these. My papa told me. He says this tunnel is full of timid Pokemon. They get all scared of loud noises and make a big uproar. So they had to stop the big tunnel project there's one man. He's trying to dig the tunnel by himself. I definitely didn't buff before each E4 member and then restart if I lost. Mood. This is Pokemon where safe scumming is basically a way of life. Especially, like, if I ever decide to do, like, the Battle Frontier... Some of the shenanigans that the Battle Frontier pulls, I would gladly save scum against and use save states and stuff. Because it literally cheats. It literally does. I found an HP up. Who should I give that to? Who needs the HP up the most? Honestly, I will give it to my ace. I will give it to Shane. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Are they just a hidden thing? Are they in these small indents? Is it a hidden item on the ground? Or is it in the cave? Could be anywhere. What even are these indents? You should try the Battle Frontier when you get to that part. It's amazing and really fun, even if the AI cheats. We'll definitely give it a shot. Because, like, that's one thing I'll also have to do once I get to... Uh, Sinnoh and Pokemon Platinum. Because I never did the Battle Frontier stuff there either. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? Well, according to some fanfiction, Ingo. A mountain man, right? So I don't know what they call Pokemon in the mountains of mountain Pokemon. We must annihilate this man. He stands before us, so we must kill him. And if we make it through this cave, it'll be worked doubly perfectly. Since we got Rock Smash, we can go through the cave. Everything can work out just well. 
eat his soul. Why isn't grass super effective to steal like it is ground and rock? Makes no sense. Kill this Machop. Kill him with gun. No one will survive you, little Machop. No one. Ah, uh, trying to focus up that critical hit? No, you don't get any. All you get for Christmas is gun. Santa's packing heat. Or in this case, Deli Bird. My Pokemon ran out of power. Wimsmer, why are you attacking me if you don't want to be disturbed? And give me that item. Max Ether! On the other side of this rock, my boyfriend is there. He He's not just digging the tunnel to see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. Oh, did I not... Activate? I could have sworn that I did. Yeah, we did. I guess we just have to activate it. Rock smash! Oh, ah. Well, at least we got to this point. And here I thought the game would be nice. Looks like we're gonna have to walk all the way back anyway. Because <laughs> I was having the thought while I was fighting the, the, the mountain man... I'm just like, hmm, I could have just gone all the way back to be super sure. So it looks like we're going to have to run all the way back. Watson forever standing in my way of happiness. Darn thee, Watson, you bastard. I'm glad that you can't re like rewire this entire... Oh, but we can go on the... We could go on the bicycle path, but at the same time, that leads to more trainers. I just want to get to my my route sooner than later. But why does a Pokemon care about the gym badges? Why do they care? They're Pokemon. They shouldn't care about what Watson thinks. About me using my power. Remember to stay hydrated. In this wild, crazy world. Hello, plus or mining monster fucker. I do not care about you. Get shoot. Shoot her! How dare you be paralyzed. Shoot the monster that has no one to help him. And no one to help himself. They're trying to be upstanding citizens in the Pokemon world. That makes me wonder about the Pokemon that help criminals. Is it just because they like their human? Or are, they, or are there Pokemon that are legitimately like, Yeah, I want to go become a Pokemon criminal. Give me the Trico Mafia. <laughs> we must travel along. Routes awaits us. At a 4%. Either that or we could, like... Go and, like, fight more Pokemon trainers. Save and try to cheese out... The boss man. So that we can... Try and get... To route through the tunnel and not go all the way back. Because it is a bit far away. Game, what is with the paralysis? Game. 
It's a wild Pokemon. No need to screw me over this hard. It's not like the Puchiana's gonna win. I suppose that's one way to do it. We'll head back. I guess I could try and use that repel, but these do lead to small upticks in experience. At the very least. Not the evasiveness. Does that mean that Oddish drugged my 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 Grovile? Honey and Oddish drugged the kids. Honey a Pikachu paralyzed the kids. Honey a Drifloon kidnapped the kids. Honey, the kids have formed a union. The Squirtle Squad was always up to mischief, so there does definitely exist Pokemon who like to break the rules. They were just like... Rapscallions. Not full-on, like, super criminals. Huh, Pokemon Super... Super Villain. Granted, that was probably just the main villain of Pokemon 2000. It was a rich guy who was just like, I'm going to collect the Pokemon in my super duper flying mobile. Wee. He really was the best representation for the Pokemon trading card game community. Look over our Pokemon, because so long as his last ace isn't another Magneton, it shouldn't be bad. And even then, we have leveled up Dear Jughead decently. I'm going to save out of paranoia, just in case, so that I don't just get annihilated. He's level 20 now. And it's 61 HP, but the problem is... The game is mean. And just is just like, ah, oh, yeah, your Pokemon get, like, super damaged by the Magnezone, and we hate you. Again, why does it have 5 billion damage? Train guard games make me so mad, especially Yu-Gi-Oh!, that makes me really mad when my opponent takes 15 years to play their turn. Yep. It's one of the main reasons why I can't get into the, like, uh, online Yu-Gi-Oh! game that's on out and about now. Because I just want to play Jewel Beasts, man! I just want to play Jewel Beasts! But I can't, because it doesn't have super duper setup. I think I won once. But that's not much. Alright. We are saved. We're gonna have Night Fang first. Yes, 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 convert this town. What do you even mean by that? Give it more electricity. Or are you a cult leader? Because I'm fairly certain I can, like, I can, I know I can take your first two fine enough. It's just the rest of your bastarding team. And the RNG. Get a crit. Crit hard. And now we're gonna use a super potion, because this guy's probably gonna be mean. And do his, uh, super death now. I played it earlier today, and I got fooled by someone, and they executed the Exodia strat on me perfectly. Ain't that just how it always is?
watch me get a crit and it not explode. Darn. But now I basically have to heal because it's gonna self-destruct one of these days. Oh, it's decided to use a super potion on a Pokemon that you're going to... Like, self-destruct? Why would you do that? I think I can survive that. I'm honestly surprised. By now, he would have self-destructed. You know it'd be funny if there were, in the Pokemon anime you actually use, saw trainers use items like this? I knew you would do it eventually. And it actually killed him that time. Very rude. You know what? I'm going to... Um, I have half a mind to reset on that alone. Just because my boy deserves better. He deserves the experience. Well, I guess I can take solace in the fact that uh, we're probably going to have to diddly d reset eventually anyway. We'll leer one more time and then begin bullet seeding. No, bullet seed. Maybe I should have gone for pound instead. Because bullet seed, why are you so good in mystery dungeon, but not here? Interesting. It seems like every time I use my move, it uses its move. And now he's paralyzed, because the world can't be fair. Game, please, for the love of God. Kill this man. Vital throw. Yay, he missed! Kill in one go, get a crit. Darn it, game. Don't one hit him, or I will be very annoyed. Jesus fucking Christ. Play it out, maybe Jughead can defeat the Magneton this time. Well, he's going to heal it anyway. He didn't heal it? Why? I have a, re I have a revive, but this is just very annoying. Why does it do so much damage to my boy? I hate it. This is just annoying. I feel like my man Watson hacked in his Magneton. This is some bullshit. And they felt the need to give this guy another ace? It feels like it would be perfectly balanced if it was just the Magneton. There doesn't need to be another guy behind the man. And sorry, Striker, but you're being knocked out. And now, I pray that Jughead gets a quick claw first round, vital throw, but we all know that the game is going to be like, oh, this Pokemon knows vital throw and can go first. I'm going to heal my Magneton. Okay, good. Don't get a crit. Okay. Attack. Yes, kill that Magneton now, please. Magneton is dead! I just had to use the rare revive. Menectric. You can stay out for now and cuz now I feel like things will be fine. It might kill him cuz it's 3 levels higher. And stab. Goodbye, Junkhead. We shall send in Zoom first. 
Headbutt. Probably let me guess. Another one hit kill, because the game is mean. And he gave him a critical hit. Why? He doesn't need this shit. Game, you're being an asshole. This is just some bullshit. Pound. Are you gonna try and one hit my my ace too? Are you? Fuck off, game. Fuck off. You thought the magnetum was fast, miniature is even faster and hits harder, which is bullshit. Why does the game need this shit? Fuck off. Paralysis is bullshit. Why are you like this game? Well, I guess I... <sighs> this is fucking bullshit, man. I sure do love not being able to do anything, because this game is bullshit. It's my favorite thing. Bullshit. Any Pokemon that knows Quick Attack should only go second unless it uses Quick Attack. But yeah, that's bullshit game and you know it. Oh, paralysis. Fuck off. I'll give it a second chance. Let's double check everything. Yep. Things should go good. Just need to move you in. Yeah, it's just bullshit that they're just like, oh, yeah, we need to give him everything. Anybody who thought this was a good idea needs to fight this guy with level 10 Pokemon only, be locked in a room, and can only leave once they beat him. It feels like the only counter to this team is Mudkip, who is bulky and immune to electric once it evolves. Which is just shenanigans. Maybe it shows the developer's preferred favorite Pokemon. And they're like, this is my favorite Pokemon. I want everyone to choose it ever. So we're gonna make a bullshit one. A bullshit decision. I hate paralysis. Why must you exist? But at least Night Fang should survive that. At least there's that. Hmm. I'll send in Zoom this time. We'll have Zoom at least whittle down this guy. And if not, like, maybe Zoom can even beat this guy and then... Shane can be, like, just fully ready to fight down his ace. Why can't they ever miss? It feels biased. And why you get a critical hit? You don't deserve critical hits, little man. I will fight you with my own... my striker. Why use Shockwave? I'll use my own... Oh, wait, no, damn it. I forgot. It's a stupid... Oh, we can only apply. I always... Oh, wait. It actually can become paralyzed. Hmm. Interesting. I am interested, and I have ideas now. Sorry, Nickel, you are now going to be sacrificed for ideas. Because I figured that an Electric-type Pokémon would be immune. That's odd. Haha, <laughs> get paralyzed, you stupid little fuck.
Shockwave has infinite accuracy, so that's why they don't miss, at least when using that move. Interesting. And now we'll send out Night Fang, just because we can. But I have a new idea. I'm going to try and use that Paralysis Affecting move on his Ace, if possible. Because that would be utterly amazing if I could inflict the evils that the game has inflicted on me. Because once again, I thought it was going to be an, like an actual electric move. But no, it's just the, and now this causes uh, paralysis. And of course we're going to change out. We're going to send out Jughead and pray to God. Vital throw. Okay. That gives me potentially extra time. All right, work through the supersonic, please. 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 Fuck. <sighs> God damn it, I hate you. That's so dumb, because now he's gonna get one tap. And the Quick Claw didn't even activate, which is bullshit. Both Thunder Wave and Confusion. Eh, that was fucking stupid, game. That's fucking stupid and you know it. You know exactly what you did. And I still have to use this random revive that I got. The bad thing is, he still has possibility of healing the bastard. And sorry, Night Fang, but you have to be the sacrificial lamb. Because... And now, Quick Claw. Let me guess, I'm gonna get... Oh wait, because he got knocked out, he's no longer that. Lol. Please don't get a crit. That'd be annoying. Kill it, please. Bleg. All right, new plan. For the love of God, please survive at least long enough to activate don't quick attack me, bro. Thunder wave. Good. Yes. Please. Ha ha ha. Yes. And now I'm going to leer at you a lot. Try and lower your defense. Okay, it played samesies. We just gotta lower it. I think, like, only doing it three times is, like, the max, I think. I don't know how, like, debuff and buff stages work in this game. And then it's, like, the moment it knew I was going to attack. Well, that's mean. I think it literally does know exactly when I'm going to attack. All right. And I forgot to heal Jughead, so you're basically going to be cannon fodder. I am sorry. Go first. How dare you quick attack. I'd quick claw. I should have gone first, or you should have been paralyzed. How dare you, game? Let me guess, you're never once going to be paralyzed, are you? I fucking hate your ability. Fuck off, you asshole. This is stupid. Why are they like this? Why can't I? Fuck. 
off. I have to wait for it to get paralyzed. Thank you. I'm gonna try a bullet seed. Because why not? I think the gym leaders do have some input reading, but I don't know for sure. Feels like it for sure. Because literally, we were I was debuffing him, he was buffing himself, and then the moment that I went to attack, he quick attacked. They have to have input reading. Or in Barry or something, right? Oh no, you have the stupid big one. Hmm. But yeah, I basically have to continue. Wait, I have to need make sure. Yes, this is the right one. Continuously heal my Pokemon until he gets uh, bad luck with paralysis. That is the only way I am winning this through the Mega Cheese. Come on, get affected by paralysis like I do, game. Quit playing favorites. Come on, get paralyzed twice in a row like I can, game. Play fair, you bastard. This is why I cheese you, you bastard. Get paralyzed. Thank you. Oh, you get paralyzed twice in a row. Sucks, don't it? You fuck. Can I get a crit? Game, you're not being fair. It is only fair that this electric type gym leader suffer all of the paralyses that I have up till now. And then he gets to play the game. But thank you, Striker. You are the MVP once I accidentally learned that <laughs> the electric type dog Pokemon can be affected by paralysis. I swear, if you get a crit one of these days, I'm gonna cry. Just please, do not. You'd think that being an Electric-type gym leader, he would be, like, on the lookout for paralysis. Come on, become paralyzed. Become, become paralyzed or miss one of these days. For God's sake. Will you please become paralyzed? I know I am cheesing you, but fuck off. Become paralyzed immediately. Fuck you. Now die. Be gone, Satan. Be gone on to hell. I don't even level up from that. Mwahaha! <laughs> Fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. And I know that you're using sarcasm. Because you watched me just healing my Pokemon with a super soaker. Every single time you attacked. As I waited for your Pokemon to be tripped up on paralysis. I know you're using sarcasm, and I know that you are in pain, old man. <laughs> Killed with a level 22 Grofile. This is impressive. No, this is cheese. This is maximum cheese. All thanks to a misinput by me, thus learning that his Pokemon can be affected by paralysis. <laughs> that was intense. That ma <laughs> Manitrick could have gotten a critical hit so many times. I figured that it was going to do that as the ultimate middle finger to me. I was just awaiting that annoyance, that critical hit would rain down from the sky as the ultimate middle finger from Watson. I just thought it was going to happen. With the Dynamo Badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash out of battle, which is the only reason I came back to fight you before going to grab my routes. And it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster, too. Thank God, I could have used that. Hmm, you should take this, too. And what is it? That there contains Shockwave. It's a trustworthy move that never misses. You can count on it. <laughs> I'm registered this asshole in my Pokenav. Ah! 
I will say that cheesing him out at the end was quite satisfying, if not exceedingly expensive, because now I have no super potions left. But, and he, I will say it, I hate that Magneton more than that Minetric. Because the Minetric, it could be cheesed. That frickin' Magneton, I had to grind my man. <laughs> he deserved it, he did. He's a monster. He wanted to convert everybody in this town into his cult. And then we beat him. We're gonna keep the, keep Striker on. Uh, now we're gonna go to the tunnel. We are going to use Rock Smash, go to Rossboro, back to Petalburg. We are going to catch me a Ralts as a victory treat, even if that means we have to do like a lot of grinding. Wimsmer, if you show your face, I'm gonna kill you. Sorry, Wimsmer, you know the agreement. Now you must die. Yeah, because it was either, like, beat all the trainers in the immediate vicinity and then try and beat him, or just obscene amounts of grinding. But I'm just glad that I found a reliable cheese. Wow, you shatter that boulder blocking the way! To show how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this HM. Is it fly? Is it fly? Oh, strength. Well, I guess that works. That HM contains strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even large boulders. Wanda! Now I can see you anytime! That's wonderful. Please take some rest at my home. And then they banged. Wait, aren't you the... Oh, it's you! You're that person that not only helped me in Petalburg Woods, but also got back my stolen package. Yeah, I was wondering why you were here. And then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the package arrived too. I thank you very, very much. Why, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, the most wonderful trader, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreci appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. The Repeat Ball? But let me guess, is this a Pokeball that gets stronger the more times you use it? Our new Pokeball will be available at the Pokemon Mart in Rustboro. Please do try it out. Thank you. Bye-bye. What the fuck is a repeat ball? A ball that works better on Pokemon Kappa 4. Yeah, that's an interesting concept. Now we're going to make it through. We're gonna go to that patch of grass that Wally caught his Ralts in, and I'm going to catch my own Ralts, because I want a Gardevoir and or Gallade. Out of the way, everyone. A champion's coming through. Uh, no berries. I think there are some berries. Sure, why not? What is even Lomi? And then we'll just jump down on our way. You ever just get run over by somebody on a bike? Must be horrifying. I'm faster than you, child. I forget. Have I saved? Have I saved since I beat him? I'm afraid. I shall save. My paranoia activated, and it said, Have you saved? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I have. Arch! Let us immediately run into a Ralts! Damn, it's a Wurmple. He was on that day, 
that the the bike riders said, we are going to be the ones running people over now. Ralts, Ralts, give us a Ralts. I know that it's rare, but I want it right now. So this is two out of like 25. I'm just gonna keep a rough, just count going in my head to see if the game is being mean or not. Because if I find it in under 25 or equal, then the game is being nice. And I think I actually did a bit of like running about, just like, is there a routes in here? Can I find a routes? And then I just assumed that the game was mean and didn't have a routes here. Routes, routes, I want a routes. Not a wormple, but a little friend. You are piecemeal experience snacks to me. Nothing more. Routes. Routes. It would be hilarious if you, like, could only find it in that one patch of grass that Wally wandered into. How the hell did Wally find a routes on his first go around? I knew that Wally was part of the 4%. Come to me, friend Routes. Die, worm. You don't belong in this world. You don't belong in my world! It'll be hilarious if we actually level up during this. I already lost count. Of, I think that was like, what, five? Not now, Lotad. We're killing people here. Be gone. There's a reason that I replaced you. I think it was the case. So Wally must have been really lucky, or maybe your dad planted it there for a <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> maybe dad did it. It's just like, I'm going to have my Pokemon attract a routes so that my <laughs> progeny is shown up on the rare Pokemon department. Routes, routes, I want a routes. Give it to me now. I think that this is number eight of 25. Upon number 25, if no routes, pain. Routes, routes. Oh, now I'm just imagining that I think the Germa sketch that was done in that weird like 3D movie maker thing. It's like rats, the rats, we're the rats. We stalk at night, we hunt at night, we're the rats. But just with routes. This is the first time we've ran into a zigzagoon here. Be gone, Satan. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I should have Stryker be in the front. Because then Stryker can paralyze the diddly D, increasing our opportunity to kill. And by that I mean catch. I had like 24 super potions before we fought <laughs> Watson. I can only imagine that the, the god diddly dang. <laughs> Germ is an interesting being, that's for sure. I've only watched short clips of his content. I actually watched him years ago when he was uh, doing TF2 content with Star. I don't even know what happened to Star. From my point of view, he just dropped off the map. Ralts, Ralts, I want a Ralts. Kill! In the famous words of Captain America, go to jail. 
I think this is number 12. I've already... I keep losing track. My brain goes, oh yeah, we need to keep track of how many we've done, just as a posterior little funny aha thing. And then my brain immediately goes, hey, remember that weird little gag thing that Germa did? You remember that? Rats, the rats, we're the rats! That's my brain. It just goes off the rails. <laughs> it's like, okay, we need to keep this thing in mind so that we can uh, make informed uh, diddly dees, diddly daws on things. And then immediately, hey, remember this thing? Hello, boy, this is the PS5 speaking to you from inside your brain. Leave the girl. We don't need her. Come with me. Play my games. We'll have cowboy times in space. Do 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 do. Yeah. There's no use running, boy. Your free will is an illusion. All this madness brought to you by I Want a Ralphs. Watch me actually be the victim of a troll. There's just one person comes in, actually, you know, you can't find a Ralts here, right? And I just hang my head as I swap to Firefox and look at, just Google, catch locations, Ralts, Pokemon Emerald, and it says, not there. And I cry. Watson comes by and reveals himself to have been the one in chat to reveal the information to me, wanting nothing more than to torture me, knowing that I would have gone to the tunnel to try and break through only to realize that Rock Smash could not work until I beat him, forcing ever more of the vicious battle, and thus, the more fruitless end. <laughs> Watson has already caught them all. Ha <laughs> ha, you silly fool! I'm going to build myself a harem! Watson. Well, he did want to make those, the people of that town into a cult. Or whatever it is he said. I forget the specific verbiage. So he's just like, fine, if I can't make people into a cult. <laughs> or maybe Wally's was the last one. <laughs> Dad just knew, he was like, oh no. My evil progeny is here to catch the last routes of the town. I need to find a pure-hearted, innocent child to give it to. That is also a possibility. Routes. A routes. Where's the routes? <laughs> routes! Yes! Please don't know. I am scared, so I'm just going to, uh... <clears throat> I was going to, like, throw out a, like, shockwave, thunderwave, par paralysis, this Pokemon wave, but I'm just gonna throw a fucking nest ball. Go! I didn't get to run away. <laughs> Don't attack it now, that would have been really bad. <laughs> yeah, because that was immediately my thought. I was just like, wait, what if it ran away? Because I was just going to use the, like, no damage paralysis move to try and increase capture rate. <gasps> but then I got the idea, what if it ran away? <laughs> Routes, the feeling Pokemon. A Routes has the power to sense the emotions of people in Pokemon with the horns on its head. It takes cover if it senses any hostility. Now, what shall we call you? What shall be your name? I'm going to call you Luna. That is your name, Luna. And I think we got that in under 25 attack thingies. Well, now the real question is, who is going to be replaced today? I don't think I can get rid of Jughead, because I need somebody to annihilate Steel types. Then again, maybe Luna will become a- because I know that, like, Psychic isn't, like, strong against Steel, but maybe it will bypass its ha ha ha, I am Steel type, so therefore physical attacks do nothing to me. Because I don't want to get rid of Night Fang. I like Night Fang. Night Fang is a good boy. Striker proved themselves in Watson's gym by being the reason that we won. You're an HM slave. And I want one bird. So at least for now, I will put Jughead away. At least for now. 
We can always bring Jughead back and do more grinding with him if we so need. Come along, Luna. Join the family. And now we are going to take this item and give Luna the experience share. So Luna can power on up and become Dragon Ball Z busted. Huzzah! And now we need to go through the cave again. Then again, we could probably just go on a rampage of killing anything in our way and Luna would progressively level up, so I guess it isn't terrible. Oh, how I long to have a damaging electric type move. Kill! But now we have a routes, and we can level them up and make them nice. I forget, like, what the love, like, evolution path for routes is. Because I know it's a divergent evolution between Gallade and Gardevoir. But I forget, like, uh, how to get one or the other. Because one is through just normal evolution, level up at Diddly D's. And then I think you need a Dawnstone to get the other one? I just forget. And now Striker is poisoned, but we have a bunch of antidote courtesy of the deer. Diddly D of Deer Zoom. Uh, but yours is female, so it can only become Gardevoir. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. Meanwhile, male routes can become either or, which is mildly amusing. What do you got there? Is it another antidote? No, it's a repel. But we don't want repel, we want murder. Murder for the routes. For our dear Luna. With worse comes to worse, I can always grind there again, find... <laughs> and then it would be hilarious if I only ever found female routes. And be like, well, I want a Gallade too, just because I want to. I just keep going over and over and over again. The 4% forever only female routes. Would be mildly amusing. Oh, hey, berries for all. Oh, no, it's just... Flowers in bloom. Interesting. I wonder why they decided to make unique sprites for it to be, like, blooming in flowers. Instead of just, like... <laughs> There's a catch with, uh, with that in this game specifically. Interesting! Because <laughs> the world decides, now everything will be complicated. There can be no simplicity in the world. Only complicatedness and death. Bum, 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 bum. But now the question is, which way will I go once I get back? I guess I should just take a look at my map. Luna grew to level 5. Good job, Luna. Luna wins by doing absolutely nothing and being adorable. Oh, but let's tell you, talk to the construction workers. <gasps> there is no Gallade. Ah! I guess that's added later in the series. It's just become so, like, tied to the Pokemon that I always figured that they were always, like, a dual coin. Hmm. Did you hear? The Tunnel to Verdant Turf has gone through! Sometimes, if you hope strongly enough, dreams do come true. The Rust and Turf er, Tunnel there. At first, we had a huge work crew. Yeah, we already went through it, but we had to stop. Turns out, diddly dee. So we've got nothing to do with Law Around doing nothing. There's a man digging his way. He did it. He's desperate to get through, and he did. <laughs> well, this guy knows that he made it through, but nobody else does, apparently. Weirdos. But now we can just continue on our journey, leveling up our delightful little Luna. Well, yeah, that is interesting that Galley doesn't exist yet. When was he added? 
Personally, I like Gallade more, even though it's technically worse than Gardevoir. I think I like Gardevoir more purely based on the, like, overexposure, probably. I just really enjoy Gardevoir's design and aesthetic. And I guess it doesn't help that you don't see Gallade as much. <laughs> but Gallade's cool. He was added in Sinnoh, so yeah, just a generation later. I wonder why they decided to do that. What made them go, hmm, we should add a divergent evolution for this Pokemon. Oh, that's odd. We can go up, but there's nothing there. And then we can just go one route, which then goes to an island that we can't get to. So we'll probably have to go up from there to Fortree Town. Not Fortree Town! We'll go ahead and heal whatever there is. Get our power points up more than anything. Although, funnily, when I read he was added in Sinnoh, my brain initially just saw the S and the H and autocorrected it to he was added in Smash. Which is so dumb that it's amazing. Well, Nickel, you haven't gotten to do much, and neither have you, Zoom. So let's use you two. Just to see what's up here. This is my favorite kind of Pokemon! Show me how to put a little excitement into my life. Is that a euphemism? Camper Tyrone and Aroma Lady Selena. And they only have one each. Hey, it's the first time we've seen a sand shrew. <laughs> Nickel, kill that sand shrew. For some reason, I thought that would be super effective, and I don't know why. Like I said, my understanding of the, like, diddly D type chart isn't all that good. <laughs> that would have been something. He was introduced to Pokemon games of Smash. Canon Foreigner, you know? Yay, Luna, power level up. And learned Confusion. Good job, Luna. And we became level 7. Hey, no defense curling for you. No going to the gym. Like that one anime episode that makes it look like a Sandshrew is wearing bondage gear. Never thought about it until now. And Nickel leveled up too. Huzzah! Luna's leveling up so fast, but that's gonna slow down eventually. Wait, did you get a good look at my Pokemon? He wasn't wearing bondage gear, so I don't care. Oh my, that was too much excitement. But what is up here? Doesn't answer anything. It's just a random route. Trainer Hill entrance. Scale the heights, you hot-blooded trainers. I challenged the win, uh, win straight family, but in four matches in a row is tough going. They destroyed me. That'll be interesting. Did you come from Marvel? Then you should be full of energy. When you're as famished as I am, there's no room for pity. Are you going to try and eat me? Kendler? You are an odd little man. Wing attack the mushroom. Headbutt the camel. Kill them all. Hey, don't stun my Pokemon. What if their lungs pucker up? Kill them all. Let's go, my favorite fire type is here! Ah! I never really paid much thought to, like, Numel. Maybe it's because I just haven't ran into it all that much in these games before. Goodbye, Numel. You had a small time in the shine. 
Well, it's evolution is, but it's the same line. Ah, so it's your, well, favorite evolutions pre-evolution. Ooh la la, that's a lot to take. Uh, I think we killed a guy. He became a zombie. Our family's hearts beat as one, the Winstraits house. Get it because it's a, a, a line of straight winning. I guess we'll heal and then see about taking them on, I guess. Surely they can't be harder than Watson. Surely. Surely. Now that makes me think, what if there were like super trainers in the game? Trainers who are doing the bad, like the league challenge like you. So they're uh, inevitably stronger than like the aroundabout gym that's there. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say taking our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Sure. That's the spirit I like you. How many do you have, crazy man? Only two. I should be able to do that easily. My Taylor will kick your Taylor's ass. You gave your Taylor a berry to eat? You monster. It'll choke. Pokemon cruelty at its finest. Hmm. Who should I send out? I shall send out Zoom. Mirror match all the way. And maybe Zoom will level up from this. Why are you easier? Unless, like, you have a, like, family progeny. Oh, what's the word? Yeah, progeny. Your youngest child is like a god of Pokemon. We go through, and your like youngest child is a future Pokemon protagonist who already has level 100 Pokemon and Arceus on their side. Ah, oh, yeah, you're a lot tougher than I expected. Hey, all, I found a pretty strong trainer. Oh my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. It's my turn to battle now. And once again, I reiterate. Is that a euphemism? Only one. Your one is going to die. Talo, kill. Well, at least we know that it doesn't go up in difficulty. Linearly, at least. And at least this is a good time to level up Luna. Gosh, I can't get over how strong you are. There's a strong trainer here. This one's really strong. You're stronger than Mommy? Wow. But I'm strong too, really, honestly. And you have three. Good for you. Come forth, Nickel. Kill this Meryl. It offends me. Yes. Kill that Meryl. It may try to survive, but it won't. Ah, shit. Huh. You see, this is why I stopped using Archie. That was a super effective move. It did nothing. You know it'd be hilarious if by the end of this, Luna could join the battle on an even footing? Eh, we'll let... Nickel didn't get to fight at all during the gym challenge, so... Nickel can murder these trainers' Pokémons all the way. Although, how awesome would it be to live in the Pokémon world with a family like this? A whole family of trainers. Just out and kicking ass. Well, we need to let Zoom get on the fun, too, because Zoom didn't get to play a prime role except being a meat shield more than anything. And it is pre-evolution of favorite <laughs> Pokemon times two now. 
My viewers just eaten today. You flinch. Two for flinching! And Zoom got to level up. And Luna did good, too. <laughs> Let's go. Love the Numal representation. And it was all up from here for some reason. How huh? did I just lose? And I got 600 Pokey Dollars. <gasps> and Zoom is level is, is evolving! I completely forget what Zigzagoon even evolves into. I completely forgot. And... Oh, you! What are you? Lenoon! Ah! I completely forgot that it had an evolution. This stinks! Grandma! Of course, it's the grandma that's gonna kick my ass. How dare you make my granddaughter cry! For that, I'm going to smack you! Prepare to lose! And by that, you mean smack my Pokémon. With one... It's stronger than everybody else's, but... One? Double team! Raise your evasion! Ah, shit. I probably should have just used wing attack. Well, who's gonna murder you? If only you were stronger. But then again, it's part psychic, so it wouldn't work well. Shane! Come out and kill this heretic. Nico is literally strong against most of their Pokemon. Hilarious, isn't it? What is even the point of detect? I guess it's supposed to be like, haha, you don't get to use your powerful attack on me. It just feels like it's a round wasting a thing. I'm gonna meditate. You're gonna think upon your doom. Nickel really was the MVP, though. Kill! Leave the boy alone! What the fuck? Bullet seed! Go for five! Go for five! Go for five! I will have fighting type protect, so I'm cooler. That's what it is, basically. Oh. <laughs> it's basically a meta flex. <laughs> Trying to learn Screech. Well, let's see. What moves do we not care about? Well, goodbye, Leer. It's basically an upgrade, I guess. Now he can scream at his enemies. You are strong! My granddaughter was right! Is that all of you? If you're not in any hurry, visit with us a while. <laughs> they all just come out one by one. <laughs> like Dino from the latest Lythero lobby shenanigans. I'm coming in. You're the first trainer I've seen to deploy some Pokemon so masterfully. But I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League Challenge, I'll have you know. And who is that? There's no question that you're strong, but if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any trainer our family knows. He must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. If he's the champion already, how do you not know? We use the Macho Brace to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you've beaten us all here, I don't know if you uh, need it, but we would like you to have our Macho Brace. Huh. I'll have to take a look at that. Mommy is stronger than Daddy. I'm stronger than Mommy, and Grandma's stronger than me. My big brother is even stronger than Grandma. Who is your... Who is this grandson? Who is this mysterious fifth win straight? I still don't know why there are tiny mushroom in this game. A hold item that promotes growth but reduces speed. So it's basically an item you want to give a Pokemon if you're trying to train them specifically. Interesting. Well, let me look at my Pokenav. Oh, I, I misread the map entirely. 
Lava Ridge, and Fallaber. Since it goes into a circle, I guess I might as well uh, check it out. Get some leveling in. <gasps> Level up our beloved Luna. <laughs> There's a building to your right. I know. I was just wanting to check things. As well as heal up my Pokemon. Because <laughs> we still have to check out that, like, Trainer Hill? What is it, a Battle Frontier place? That's what it feels like. This feels like a Battle Frontier. Hey. Do you know they're opening this place up? I'm waiting to be the first challenger ever. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's open yet. I heard tough trainers come to this trainer hill from all over. I can't wait to test the waters. I'll knock aside anyone that stands in my way. Welcome. How may I serve you? You only sell super potions. But I do need some. I had to cheese out Watson. <laughs> Oh, and they even have a... Ah! Huh. Neat. Type board. Normal tag match. Time cleared in 59 minutes. Variety tag match. Unique tag match. Expert tag match. This is the trainer hill where you may enjoy tag battles with many trainers. Unfortunately, we're still getting things ready. Please come back later. Alright. So this is another unique challenge building. Similar to the battle tent. Ah, another place we can only go if we have Rock Smash. Smash those rocks, somebody says, as they are into uh, Geodude. If I don't raise your Pokemon some more, it could be tough to keep winning on through the ranks. I've heard the Pokemon League's Elite Four are far stronger than any gym leader. Oh, we've just spotted a tough-looking trainer here of all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. And you mean by that, you mean combat? I thought we were going to have an actual interview. Oh, this is a double battle. No, no, it's not. Interviewer Gabby and Ty would like to battle. Is it a double? It is a double. It's a motherfucking Magnemite. I don't think I've ever tried those tag battles in that tower. I'm definitely going to give it a try. First things first. Kill the Whimsmer. <laughs> Whimsmer, go die. And now we will kill this Magnemite. I'm coming in. Why would you do that? Are you not an electric type? You whore. The Magnemite responds, I am genderless. And so is whore in the right context. No! Nickel! I think I forgot about it after I saw that it wasn't open yet when I first played. That's understandable. All right, I'm gonna throw out Night Fang. Did I do it correctly? I think I did, I did it correctly. Guys, I learned to swap out my Pokemon in a doubles match correctly. And Night Fang didn't even need to be here. And Luna leveled up again. Good for Luna. My eyes didn't lie, I did discover an astonishing trainer. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh please, let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of your time? Sure. Thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Bye bye. No, I wanted a goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> hmm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. You mean an ex you mean a TikTok? Because that's how long it's gonna be. Egg. That's what I did for the questionnaire at the <laughs> first store. Egg. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> There's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. And by that, they mean that we're going to stand here still and do nothing. One of the indicators of Pokemon powerfulness is special attack. It stands for special attack. No shit. Likewise, Spidiff stands for special defense. 
I forgot. I need to take this from you. I don't know what it is. An escape rope. How kind of the darling. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? I'm going to bury a body. But I don't see a body. It's yours. Eat this mushroom like Mario. Kill. Flinch, little man. Flinch eternally in the jaws of Nightfang. I should have called him Fenrir. Oh well. I stick to nicknames once I use them. This Meryl will pop like a ball. Water Pikachu must die. Be gone, Water Pikachu. I will eat your soul. Of course you have to survive one more. What are you going to do? One damage? Oh, I did five. Good for you. You exceeded expectations. Oh, you're disgustingly good. And your name reminded me of a song that played in the Namco Museum for the GameCube. Come on, Irene. Ah, da, 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 da. That's basically all I know. I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is peppy, too. Star Fox? The Barrel Roll! Once again, if your Sandshrew's so peppy, why isn't it in that, like, weight-training bondage gear from the anime in that one episode? That sticks out in my mind. I don't even think that I watched the episode. I just know that it exists. And a Sandshrew wearing a weird, like, black, like, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word, but the word's not coming to me. Like, strips of latex connected to a metal ring. Sandstorm is vicious. It's impossible to keep going. And it just played a song. I wonder what Pokemon are in here. Hey, we can catch you. Like, I probably won't you. Then again, it's a fire type, and I don't have a fire type, but I like my team. Ah, uh, we'll catch you for posterity. For posterity, you shall become Great Ball. Great Pokey Balls. And now I'm suddenly reminded of the Chalk Eaters Pokemon parody. But I forget what it's actually called. Furry Mom, that's what it's called. Numel, num Pokemon. A Numel stores boiling magma in the hump on its back. It is hardy Pokemon that can transport a 220 pound load. It has served humans at work since long ago. <laughs> the boy is back. We shall call you. Ah, oh, but you're not the boy. So we shall call you the girl. Ah, oh, dang it. I am the fool. We should wander around just to see what kind of Pokemon we can find at random. Another Numel. This must be just Numel Heights. For repetition, now you must die. Uh, so that we can level up good Luna. Let's see. It's been a bit, so we'll let Linoon. Linoon Zoom. That reminds me of my very original nickname of Santrus, either the man or the woman. That is amusing to me. A Nuzleaf? Put those nipples away. We can't put this on Instagram now.
Now I wonder if, like, official art and fan art just vigorously present those nipples. Why is that a detail they chose to add in this game? When you're out on a picnic, why you simply have to sing? Come on, sing with me! I'm going to torture you to make you sing. How about that? Picnicker Carol! For some reason, that reminded me of llamas with hats. But well, how did it go? Carl! Well, I do not eat hands. That is my least favorite thing to do. And we can't forget about its brothers and sisters, the bro and the sis. Amazing. Puffer flinching! Zoom! Slowly but surely, my beloved Luna is leveling up. Mount Chimney for Lava Ridge Town or the Summit. Please take the table car. The table car? Cable car. I have so many cringy nicknames from back in the day. I don't think I ever really did nicknames all that much. And usually my brain just went and came up with a random name like Zeke or Baskin. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. Don't buck- don't, uh, pound up and down the mountain. You'll blow out Malphite's back. Well, looks like Shane's gonna get some destruction duty. Curl and defense all you want, you're still gonna die. Now I wonder, is there a chance for, like, trainer Pokemon to randomly turn up as shiny? I think that would be cool. If only to torture people. You're playing through the game, you come up against a, a trainer, they throw out a shiny, you scream. Numal's nickname is just Cack. For some reason. I don't remember why I chose that name, but I saw it in a save file recently and it made me laugh. That is kind of funny. It's like cake without the E. And why do you only have Geo dudes? Like what? Do you literally want to get your rocks off? Why does Geo dude have a gender but not Magnemite? The hunk of rock. That needs a gender. The hunk of steel that's electric type doesn't need it. I don't it don't make sense. Oh my legs have cramped up. Can you grab me some bandages from my backpack? No, that's my Poke Oh fine, I'll register you. And for the first time, I forced someone to add me. I am now the evil. Mount Chimney Cable Car, short walk away. An icy magma. I see Team Magma. I see some bastards. Oh, hey, you found an item? Oh, you found a nugget! Good for you! We're gonna head back to the battle, like, tower. And we're gonna heal there. We're gonna sell that nugget. Maybe get some... I don't even know. And the interviewers are gone. I knew I should have killed them when I had the chance. Would you stop getting in my way? I already get in my way enough as it is. I don't need other people doing it. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. See, this is what I assume like a gym should be. A, a, like a, a nurse joy there to revive your Pokemon going in or going out so you're ready to take on the gym or ready to leave. I would like to sell you a nugget. My Lanoon found it. Lanoon deciding, Lanoon the Zoom, deciding to celebrate her evolution by finding another nugget. Just like the first item she found for me when I caught her. Now this makes me think of what would be an amazing Pokemon comic. Is somebody who just has a million Zigzagoons and Lanoons. So that they can just have eternal items being brought to them. 
If I remember correctly, my team was Gecko the Trico, Poochie the Mighty Ina, Ziggy the Lanoon, Cack the Numel, Fish the Gyarados, and God the Rayquaza. For some reason, I thought that that would, uh, break. Or not break, but like me. Huh. I don't even think I have anything good for fire types. Can anyone unscramble the name of that one? Oh, it's a nostalgic place. I, all for bar. I don't think I can. How about we have a battle, you and me? Ha ha ha! All for bar. My brain is on fire, I cannot recall. Then again, I also forget, like, normal words half the time anyway. It would be like that one episode from What's New Scooby-Doo, where they replace uh, Daphne, Fred, and Velma with these, like, uh, summer camp kids. And one kid is, like, the nerdy kid, but he keeps forgetting random words. And it's just like, uh, this thing, you know, like, da -da 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 -da. you mean this, Carl? No, don't kick my Lanoon in the nuts. She doesn't even have any. Yes, you flinched, and now you will die! 55 for flinching. I lost! Ha ha ha! And he took that well. Also, I just realized, why would you need bandages for cramped legs? If your legs are cramped, why would you need bandages? I think that guy was playing me. I called a ditto Ditsy after my friend's car. She was said it was so cute. Ditsy is a good name for a... for a ditto. Hey man, is our leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, yeah. But I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went to Faller Bar. You got it. And until they come back, we're not to let anyone pass, right? And just went into a retreading. Back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> For some reason, that reminds me of... I don't... I, maybe it was black and white. I just remember a legendary screen cap of a Pokemon game where a group of people are just like in a line saying we're dancing here for no reason someday we'll disappear for no reason and it's just... wait strength did I have strength I think I have strength can I use strength I don't think I'll be able to use strength but this is a level 15 new mouse so we shall destroy you for Luna I wish that, like, the description... I wonder if I can read the description of the badges or something. Not Ember! Do not burn my dog! And Luna leveled up. Delightful Luna. It would take a long time, chat said. Meanwhile, she's already almost there, ready to be gym worthy. Bite this camel in the neck. Wait. If you bite into a Numel, into like its hump, wouldn't that mean that you're biting into magma? I can only imagine these things don't have any natural predators. But yeah, I don't think... Uh, I, <laughs> I don't think I can use strength. Who do I have that can even learn strength? Let me guess. Is it the deer? It is my Lanoon. Although Nightfang can also do it, I'll spare Zoom for now. And I'll take something away from Nightfang. Hmm. Negates the foe's efforts to heighten evasiveness. But most don't do that. To be honest, I completely forgot about experience share. I mostly thought uh, about switch trainees. Ha! <laughs> Numel's hump is probably full of flesh and flame. 
Yeah, goodbye, Odor Sleuth. I'm never gonna use you. Because I'm just never gonna think about it. Yep, can't do it anyway. Just wanted to make schwa. Make shawarma. Rost berries. Rost. 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 Now we can cure poison. We have the cure-all poison of the cure world. We have saved everybody. It came from nature, like the Black Lagoon. It's been a while since you've been in a fight. Let's get in a fight. Dog fight, dog fight. Double fight. I got hot Pokemon in a fiery path. Take a look. Is that a euphemism? Oh, aren't you an adorable trainer? Please, I need a romantic battle. Is that a euphemism? I'm somewhat decent. Repeat it. Is that a euphemism? We must kill them all. Striker, Nightfang, crush and kill. Bite into the n that one, because it can cause paralysis. Leer at them both! What? That's new. <gasps> that goddamn shroomish drugged my dog. That goddamn drug shroom is drugging my dog. I'll be going then. It's 3 a.m. Thanks for entertaining me tonight. Have a great rest of your day. You too. And thank you for joining me on my Pokemon Emerald journey. And for helping me find, uh, diddly dee, uh, Ralts, my dear Luna. Don't fall asleep from the spores. God damn it, but there wasn't. Well, now that you're paralyzed, at least don't have to worry about that. Wait, what am I doing? I should have paralyzed the both of them. Oh, and I hope you sleep well! Brain is running a mile a minute. Ah, eh, this way, let's just kill him. Wake up, Night Fang! The Fang of the Night should not be asleep! Leave the boy alone! He's just a little boy! I think that he will survive. One more turn. And oh, I didn't mean to do that, god damn it. Don't fall asleep from the spore again. Yeah, I should probably heal Night Fang. So bad, uh, <laughs> bad things don't happen to me. I heal you, Night Fang. Tackle the shroom. Well, now he, at least he won't fall asleep, but it does mean that we can potentially be highly annoyed. Quit trying to burn my dog! Bite the shroom. Tackle the shroom. No, shroom not tackle. Ah, that was a critical hit. You're pathetic. At least that one didn't get a critical hit. That would have been bad for me. An experience for Luna. Of course you're paralyzed and can't do anything. And I guess because you're a grass type, Leech Seed activates anyway. Thunderwave the new one! Eat them. Eat the salad. And... Become paralyzed by the salad. Diddly D. You know what? We're just going to... Power down that Rosalia as fast as we can. And... 
and then we'll try things. I hate leech seed. It leeches at my life. It's like burn. How dare you put me in this situation of pain? I must heal my poor dogs. And I did that at the right time. Jesus. Leech seed will remain in use even if the user faints or switches out. It wears off on its own. Interesting. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess what I could do is... Fight with you, heal with you. This is the perfect way of doing things! You can't poison him, he's already paralyzed. Now, so long as it doesn't use Mega Drain again. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I guess. Because that Drain attack is very dangerous. Of course you are. Now you'll be paralyzed. It's like burn. Bite. And once again, because mostly uh, I feel stubborn. I do not want to switch out. I could throw in nickel and annihilate you probably, but I don't want to. Of course you are. Well, at least it's mutual. Well, since we're going to be here for five million years, Striker, paralyze the camel. Oh, oh, because I guess it's part ground type. That's true. That makes sense. At least maybe. I can only assume because it doesn't affect. And I guess you can just leer at them a bit. Make my time easier. This is the longest double battle we've been in. Mostly because of sleep and paralysis. Kill. Darn you, paralysis. Ah, critical hit, eh? Once again, at least it's mutual. Diddly D. I don't want to swap out. Ah, the double paralysis out to kill me. The triple paralysis. The quadruple paralysis. You know what? Fine. I'm going to annihilate you with different Pokemon for daring to do this to me. Fine. Did I probably shouldn't have sent Shane out. He's grass time. I'm enough with games. Of course you would. Oh, now you do that. Wing attack that goddamn motherfucker. And absorb on the new mel. I probably should have swapped out earlier, but I didn't think it would honestly go on that long. And now we shall be here. Destroying whatever this poor man has. Like a vampire, drink from the new mel. And then annihilate it from above. Imagine being in a... Like a double fight, and then you get knocked out first. 
and then you just have to stand there. Oh no, not slug my balls. Not at all what I expected. I did not expect a rock throw <laughs> from the fire type. <laughs> I thought he was going to fire attack my grass type. <laughs> not rock attack my <laughs> flying type. What a bumpy ride that was. You're telling me. Oh, wow. How strong you are. You've given me quite a shock. Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm going to put Zoom, Professor Zoom, in the front <laughs> because everybody else got their asses kicked. Uh. Mm, if only we had the mock bike, then we could go up there. And who are you? Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. That... Word, the verbiage makes it seem like we met before, but we never have. Cool trainer, Wilton. My zoom is cooler than your electric headbutt. My dog is cooler than your dog. Level up time. All my Pokemon are gonna be paralyzed. Oh, learn teleport. I've never done. Wait. Doesn't that return me? Hmm. I'm willing to risk it. Because isn't it like, once again, I'm terrible with the type chart. I'm fairly certain that fighting type is weak to psychic. Confusion. Watch me be horribly wrong. I am horribly right. Please don't kill my darling Luna. Oh, I think Luna's gonna die! Oh, thank God for it not being very effective. Confusion. Luna gets to have her first combat. <laughs> Bullying the fighting type child. And Whalmer, huh? Time for whale hunting. We're gonna go wibbling for oil. Shoot him with a gun. The ultimate gun. Damn it, it's still alive. <laughs> you did 10 damage for the critical hit. You have my most apologies. How dare you do my own type of strategy against me. I'm the stall master, not you. I can literally use you as a healing fountain. Wait, does that mean that if I, like, had a super beefy water type, I could use them to infinitely heal Shane in a double battle? I see you've toughened them considerably. This is much better to be learned from your tra uh, this is much to be learned from your training style. I request a rematch if it behooves you. Who even uses behooves in this day and age? Why are you looking at that tree? What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know I'll give you this TM. We'll use it to make your own room. Sure. What the fuck do you mean? If you thought that was bad, just wait until they use full restores and heals. Yep, I figured that would come eventually. Find a big tree like that looks like it might drop some vines. Use secret power in front of the tree. Some vines should get free and drop so down so you can climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room, a secret base. You should make one too. Another thing, you don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using secret power on rock walls that have small indents on them. I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. I've never been to a secret room before. Who the fuck is that? Whose house is that? Who are you? Old lady's rest stop. Aww. And then it's like a bandit house. 
Oh, hey, the TV has something to say. In search of trainers. Hi, I'm Gabby. Today I'm visiting an area near Route 111. We're trying to spot some up-and-coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens on the trainer Neon. That's something about this trainer that's piqued our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is is, well, the fastest way to, is to battle. And so we began our investigation. <coughs> that's how we ended up in battle with Neon. In a dominating performance, we were it flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Neon is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impressions after having battled our featured trainer. The combination of Mighty Ian and Lanoon was divine. The sight of them, Mighty Ian and Lanoon, selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle, it was a marvelous sight to behold. Headbutt was the most was the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move headbutt is Mighty Ian is and Lanoon's sign of friendship. Hilariously, I could see that. Just like a Mighty Ian and a Lanoon just like pressing their foreheads together, just all oh, sweetie. So technically, yes, headbutt could be. After our battle, we asked Neon for a such, a such and reply. The trainer replied, goodbye. Neon's Pokemon Mighty Ian and Lanoon, and goodbye. That's deep. There's deep significance behind that quote. Um, it's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again on our next broadcast, our next TikTok. Oh, dear, dear. Aren't your Pokemon exhausted? If you like to rest up here, that's a fine idea. You should do that. Please don't mug me. That's right. Take your time and rest up. Once again, please don't mug me. Oh dear, are your Pokemon so tired? You should take another rest here. That's a fine idea. You should do that. Okay. Nah, it's fine. Is that so? You don't seem to be shy about it. You are a weird lady. Would be hilarious if she actually did steal something from me. A bunch of trees. Not trees, berries. Ding, 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 ding. Give them to me. All of these berry. Give them to me. The berry. I will not plant a berry because I doubt I'll be coming back here. But I wonder why that old lady even asks multiple times. What's her deal? I water the plants every day. They grew lots of flowers and they gave me lots of berries too. Here you go. You can have it. Huzzah. I'm going to try really hard to make berries in different colors. I hope you try hard, too. If your Pokemon look serious, actors, I have to ask for an engagement. We are not going to marry you. A Wingull? We must kill it. Go, Zoom! Zip, zap, zoom all over their face. It's like Lift, Laugh, Love, but for pain. A new melon. Zoom can stay out and kill. Kill! Do not burn the ferret! How dare you! And I didn't mean to use Rock Smash, it was an accident. And it did hardly anything, but it did lower its defense, apparently. Apparently that ended up better than I thought. A Roselia, huh? Then come on out, Nickel. Let's Nickel and Dime this person to death. In an alternate universe, that's the, uh, the way you say that you're gonna stone someone to death with nickels and dimes instead of rocks. If stoning was a modern invention. Good job, Luna. You have leveled up to level 17. They did just look strong. They are strong. I wish I could become friends with more strong people like you. If only that was one way to become friends with somebody. You lock eyes with them. You point at them. You fight them. They kick your ass. I bring life back to the land and a monster- Oh, hey, it's a Spinda! Are you out looking for the Mirage Pokemon, you little minchkin? Like, I'm not gonna use you, but I will catch you. Smack the Spinda around. Now my thought just came to me. 
what if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, but instead of being a human, a Pokemon from our world went there? I think that might be a cool idea, to explore the mentality of a human world Pokemon versus a Pokemon world Pokemon. Spinda, the Spot Panda Pokemon. Confirmation, pandas exist in Pokemon. It is distinguished by a pattern of spots that is always different. Its unsteady tottering walk has the effect of fouling its foe's aim. Also, apparently, like, Spinda's spots are, like, actually randomized and one of the most randomized things ever in Pokemon or something. Well, let's see. I shall call you Spot. You are Spot now. We're gonna wander through the ashes. Not the slugma balls. I will also try and catch you. Except you died. My apologies. And you burned my boy! So Pokemon and soccer are related. Opponents foul each other. <laughs> Quick, Slugma, use red card! It's fun walking through the volcano's ashes on the ground and grass. That's not healthy. And you can see where you walked. It's really neat. And not healthy. I can only assume. Night Fang, come out to kill. Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Because it's hot. This place must be Pop-Tarts. You only have one. Hey, neat, trip in. You become a cool Pokemon, don't you? I'm gonna kill you. What? Huh. Always interesting to see new interactions. Eat its soul. Bite off its head. Hey, don't bite me. I bite you. How dare you spit sand in my eyes. My poor Pokemon. Shouldn't it be ashes since we're up here? Dear God, you're a monster. You're putting ashes in my Pokemon's eyes. Phew, that stinks. It's called ash. It's called ass. What? Why is there a spot here? I found an ether. Interesting. Trainer tips. You may register one of the key items in your bag to select. I already did that. You fool. You're late. Is that a kid drowning in ashes? Is this like a gonna be is this gonna be a three-way fight? The fuck? Ah, well, let's step into it. Thanks for finding me, but we have to do battle! It's cool here because we're approaching question mark question question mark. Home to the best music ever. I do like isn't there a is it like a, the magma? Well, it's okay, so if there's a ninja. Because I could have sworn that there's like a... A ba 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 A gym coming on up. That's like near the volcano. Fear them. Fear them all. They will know by the strike of our tongues. Kill the coughing. I can't wait until you get a uh, like a, an electricity based move, striker. Wait, that's like eh. <laughs> like seriously, Luna is almost ready to join. Why do you look like uh, a sin? No, not maybe not Sentai, maybe Sentai. Eh, you look more like, uh... I'm trying to think. Why are you weak? Oh, because you're probably psychic, aren't you? Quit kicking ashes into his eyes! He is a good boy! But, uh... I'm trying to think. What's the word? What's the word, Daddy-O? Die. You might boost your speed, but you will only do is die in the jowls of God. Fuck. 
I thought you would be a rock type or ground type or something, but I guess I was wrong. I'm foolish. Once again, it just looks wrong. Did you view this video I sent you? <laughs> it is. The voice actors did a good job portraying the ridiculousness and madness of the logic of the Phoenix Wright universe. It is kind of silly that it's just like, you have to not only prove your defendant innocent, you also have to find the guilty party. Although I think that is a bit of a... Bah, bah, bah. Like, not totally accurate, because I don't think that's ever... Well, maybe... Because I don't think that's ever happened, at least not in the not in any of the Phoenix Wright games that I've played yet. I know that it's like that's the feeling you get, but I think it's mostly down to the fact that you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that your defendant didn't do it. And it's just that nine times out of ten you also solve the murder along the way. Because a lot of the time, there's a lot of things pointing to your defendant being guilty. Although it is sometimes ridiculous where they are like... Sometimes they're like, oh yeah, there's like... No motive for the person you're trying to accuse. And then other times, yeah, it's all weird. It's all weird and wacky. But it is kind of cathartic to be like, to see Phoenix go like, I'm going to use bullshit logic on this court that has bullshitted me this entire time. Ninja boy Lung. Who calls their kid Lung? I can't wait to meet his brother Kidney! I'll use my ninjutsu on you, volcanic ash swirl cloak. What? It's already over? <laughs> we got beaten cleanly. And now I'm gonna be ambushed. Which is better, Leer or Howl? Personally, especially for a double battle, probably Leer because it affects two at once, while Howl only raises your own personal attack. But at the same time, raising and lowering defense and attack are probably have their own, like, bonuses and detractions, but I'm just not smart. <laughs> Phoenix, random bullshit, go. Phoenix, right, Moon Knight. That would be cool. Y you want to battle me, even though I just caught my Pokemon? I'm going to kill your Pokemon. What? What? Oh, okay. If you're gonna cosplay Charizard, at least finish the look! The Luke? I hate you. Not the steel type, bitch boy. Hmm. I will heal Striker, then I will send Striker out. And pray to God that it works. What is the best non-attacking move? I honestly have no idea. I am not a Pokemon expert. And it's like, and I also don't mostly use, like, non-attacking moves. So I do not know. Be kind to me, Spark! Well, at least it does normal damage. You bitch! You want to know what I miss in Pokemon games? Triple battles. I've not experienced a triple battle, so I can't wait to experience the loss. Spark him now! Bye-bye. <laughs> it's gonna send out another Aeron. Hmm. Okay, what is the best move you used? I honestly don't know. Headbutt's pretty good. Headbutt is a pretty nice, stable move. Causes flinching, does tons of damage. I'm trying to think, because it's been a bit since I played the other Pokemon games. So I can't quite remember the other moves that I used a lot. It's been forever, and I cannot recall. With me, I just think, this move seems good I use, god damn it. Why have I forsaken thee, Jughead? 
Why did I send you off to your aunts and uncles? Got into one little fight and my mom got scared. Ah, this is going to be painful because it's raising his weight. But... Aha. Hello, other person has joined the live. It is I. I am alive. At least I think I am. I am suffering against my eternal foe. Steel... Steel types. You'd think that, like, Headbutt would get a bonus from its defense stat. Why Metal Claw? Why Metal Claw indeed? Keep sparking until it is dead. I don't need Jughead anymore. Striker will do indeed. Also, Machamp on the Pokedex entry says that his arms move so fast that bullets couldn't hurt it, and yet it can't learn Mock Punch. Heh. <laughs> You're happy, all happy to win, even though it's only me? You are a weird man. But at least I get this item. I found a Super Rappel. You have trudged through many, just to learn. Be gone. So if you're Cheesecake Mania 2, where's Cheesecake Mania 1? On the PlayStation 1. Ah, I already see! It's it's like, uh, spots have indeed changed. Interesting. Where am I going? Up the mountain, presumably. The game has not pushed me in one direction, and I decided I'm gonna go up the mountain and probably fight Team Magma. Skarmory! You look badass! Try not to die! And also try not to kill me. I will catch you on... maybe. Darn steel types. How dare you swift me! I mean, I guess I could, like, swap out to somebody else, but I'm just gonna be catching you. Not agility. That that move haunts me from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon scares me of that move. You ever be in just one giant room with like eight monsters bearing down on you and periodically using agility so they get more moves? And you're using sand attack. Ash in my eyes. I'm going to throw my Pokeball at you now. Get in the Pokeball. Get in the robot, Sinji. Now I'm imagining Pokeballs be... Fuck. You are a very mean man. I'm gonna have to return to the old lady to save up my Pokemon, aren't I? Wait, what are you doing? Wandering around, mostly, until the game pushes me in a better direction. So I'm going up the mountain where magma grunts are being like, Ah, the boss is gonna be doing a thing, so... Let's stop people from using the cable car. So I went through a cave. And now I'm on an ashy mountain. There are people playing in the ashes. That doesn't seem safe. I, I cheesed out Watson. <laughs> La Pony is what's essentially a furry's dream come true, says Twitch chat. There are probably better furry dream Pokemon. There's always Salazel. It's literally the reverse harem Pokemon. Hold the A button if you want uh, Pokemon to resist the Pokeball less. I don't believe that. <laughs> that is probably a myth. But at the same time, I guess it doesn't hurt to... How dare you. Ah, it doesn't hurt, and then it hurt me. Watch me get a crit and it dies after all this. Will you get into the Great Ball, Skarmory? I'm probably not even going to use you. I just want you as, like, because you're cool. Get in the ball, Sinji. You whore! Its speed won't go higher. The price on its drugs has reached maximum. Get in the ball. Get... I just know... It has discovered the win button. All right, who next? Uh, zoom, save day. Okay, zoom. 
Oh, I forgot that you're burned. My apologies, Zoom. I should have seen the old lady first. Your great balls are not so great. I feel like I've been lied to by the, uh, the marketing. I feel like Zoom is going to faint. Don't get a crit. Okay, you are basically the lowest your health can go without statistically knowing what your health is. Shinji, get in the ball! You are! And dies by burn. Higgledy piggledy daisy. Daisy, Daisy, get in the goddamn ball. Daisy, Daisy, what is wrong with you? Do you want a premier ball? Do you want a premier premium ball? Get in premier ball. It has special effects, you all. What is wrong with you? Get in the ball? Get in the ball! It's a great ball! It's a ball that is great! Tony the Tiger! Get in the ball! I just want you as part of my collection! Care to get in? If it got out on that last bubble, I would have been very upset! Skarmory, armor bird Pokemon. A Pokemon that has a body and wings of steel. People in the past used feathers fallen from Skarmory to make swords and knives. Wow, it doesn't like you. And for that, I am going to name it Shinji. Get in the ball, Shinji. You are Shinji now. And now I have to run back to the old lady. Because all my Pokemon are damaged. All of them. All of them. And that old lady wants me to stay forever. Hello, yes, Spinda, with different patterns, which is very cool and unique. I wonder exactly how that works without being like a billion gigabytes. Old lady, I want to stay at your shack some more. Have you been eaten by the big bad wolf? Please, my Pokemon are in much pain. I swear, she has to be some kind of con artist. What if you stay here five billion times, does she reveal herself to be an eldritch monster and you have to kill her? Is she a ghost type who is slowly eating your soul while you stay with her? Okay, Slugma. Uh, we're gonna give you a second chance. You're gonna throw rocks at my Pokemon, aren't you? We're gonna give you a second chance, unless you die. Okay, you didn't die. The big bad wolf, she is death. Okay. Get in the ball! Don't be an ass like Skarmory was. You have chosen well. This is really just my Pokemon Legends Arceus pulling through. Slugma! Balls! Lava Pokemon! It is a species of Pokemon that lives in volcanic areas. If its body cools, its skin hardens and immobilizes it. To avoid that, it sleeps near magma. Well, that's a harsh life to live. I'm gonna call you Tony. Full caps, Tony. Of course, the last, it's the last bush. The last bush is always what gets you. Another Spinda. We shall annihilate your soul. Goodbye, Spinda. Our Spinda... Why do you know Psybeam? I don't know why, that... That compu... Die! Monster, you don't belong in this world! I did not know that Spinda knew Psybeam. I don't know why I did not know. It just didn't feel like it fit. 
Oh, hey, Zoom has found an item. What item did you find, Zoom? <laughs> an Ultra Ball. I think Zoom was trying to tell me something here, Master. <laughs> Use this to catch Skarmory. No! No, no, no. Then again, maybe it gives a lot of experience. Debating. I am debating. I am debating. I will use... I will use Striker. If Striker has trouble with you, we leave. I just see a Skarmory. I shriek in fear. Spark attack. I run into one Pokemon that has given me a bad experience. I scream in fear. Will you give me lots of experience? No. Well, kind of. Who's calling me? I don't even know who you are, Lola Bunny. Know what I'm doing today? Looking at waves from the beach. Uh, the waves are all sparkly. The sea's the prettiest from here. I'm getting hungry, so bye. Who the fuck are you? Ah, shit. I use this parasol to ward off this filthy, yucky volcanic ash from my dear Numo. I was gonna call you Vang, but you're doing it for your Pokemon, so props. I'm still gonna kill you. Zoom! Kill! Haha, <laughs> you flinched, and now you will die! With the power of 69 health. Once again, we are going far too long. Here, slide under my parasol. Let me register you and you in my Pokenav. Why do the, uh, these all sound... like... Just flirtations. Well, who do I want to double battle here? Hmm. Let's give them a chance. Then again, you're hurt. Night Fang, you take over. Time for kill! Both of us, we collect ashes. We battle Pokemon too. Why do you collect ashes? Do you want... I don't trust these kids. These kids are weird. There's something wrong with the kids. Who goes first? Bullet seed that one, bite that one. I probably should have just used pound. Not faint attack, attacking by fainting? Not an uproar. That is the worst kind of thing. Pound the little bear. It must die for its crimes against humanity. Quit playing in the ashes. Go home and be a family panda. Who am I, what am I saying? Pandas can't make families. They can't even take care of one cub. They're too busy killing them by sitting on them in their confusion. Good job, Luna. The only thing really stopping me from using you in combat is that you have really low health. We couldn't win. It's boring. So I'm going to need more ashes. What is wrong with these kids? I'm bored. I'm going to collect ashes. Who does that? Who raised these psycho children? And now we're in town. Or maybe that's just a building. <laughs> we found Water Luigi again. Today's technology is a wondrous thing. Take this volcanic ash here. It can be fashioned into glass. Oh, I thought... I I should have known that you were a ninja. From out of the ashes I leap. Hiya! I challenge thee! I'm gonna bury you in ashes. Better yet, maybe I'll turn you into some. I was gonna be here and be nice and be like, Hey, kid, is something wrong? And then he pounces at me with a fucking sword. Koga, come get your... 
I'm going to annihilate you. Zoom. Harness the power of reverse flash and age this child to death. Aw, oh, let me guess. You're gonna do nothing but explode at me, aren't you? Oh, wow. You did something not that. Ooh, good for you. I have peckaberries, you fool! You think you're cute? You think you're unique? Watson already pulled the self-destruct gambit on me. I forget. Uh... Is Psychic good against poison? I want to say yes. I forget the type chart. I'm dumb. Kill. Yes. Ah, fuck. Kill yourself. Beat yourself up over the head. Okay, good. It didn't use self-destruct. That would have been bad. That was what I was worried about. The rage quit. <laughs> With honor, I admit defeat. With honor, you yourself destruct. Yeah, yeah. Witness the ancient ninja technique of Pokédev registration. It's a new device, you little monster. Turning volcanic ass into glass. I forgot. Pekka berry for the poison. I don't care about the label. I want to use it. I forgot they fucking nuked my ace. This area is covered in volcanic ash, Huff Puff. I'm specially gifted, Huff Puff. With what? Asthma? I make glass out of volcanic ash and make items, Huff Puff. Go collect ashes with this, Huff Puff. You are insane. Just take that soot sack and walk around through piles of ash, Huff Puff, and it will fill up with that volcanic ash, Huff Puff. Once you think you've collected a good amount, come see me, Huff Puff. It's fun to blow a glass flute while my boss is talking. Huff, puff, puff, puff. You are a child. Ninja, maybe, but still child. How? Oh, I'm going to have to run back to the old lady. Why is there just this... Why is there just this corner? It serves no maps... Serves no map sense. I don't care, Spinda. I'm on the way to heal my Pokemon because this mountain is rude. I wonder if this is filling up my soot sack. I do not know. Why are there so many Cinda in Spinda in the soot? In the ashes. There's a Pokemon Center nearby. Oh, is there? Well, then it would be kind of odd to, like, have the old lady there. But at the same time, eh. We'll make our way ahead then. Even if poor, poor Shane is forsaken. That's not exactly what I wanted. I went too far. So many Spinda, and all of them have different diddly dang. I wonder how they did it. Is there, like, uh... I don't know. The way I would do it is I would, like, map out the areas of Spinda that I want, like, to be randomized in color, and then have, like, an ever-shifting, like, color background, or, like, a, a color spread that, sprite that the game references and switches for each Spinda. But then it could be just difficult. You're the last trainer, I guess. The volcano's eruption is proof that the Earth is alive! Who are you? Father from... Full Metal Alchemist? Think of it as a vast nervous system. Sparky, Cindy, do, 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 Striker, you good? You ready for more murder? Striker, get ready for murder. Kill. Iron defense all you want. You're still gonna die. Kill. Don't headbutt my dog. Be gone, Aaron. 
And soon, everything will be grand. And we're here. Except these guys probably want to fight. Well, Zoom and Night Fang, let's get ready. The warmth here is making me drowsy. Battle with me so I can stay awake. <laughs> with these wings, I can flick you away. What the hell are you talking about? Picnicker Sophie and Bird Keeper Kobe. Meryl and Skarmory. Shit. Well, that's not good at all. Uh, fighting type! It does good against steel! Except not. I thought it did. How dare you. I can't even trust the type chart. My own type experiences. And now that Meryl is going to do that for five million years. We're killing the Skarmory first. Not very effective, but it still does good damage. Get out of here. Get out of here! Swift is a double hit move. Interesting. Doesn't do much damage, but hey. But hey. But hey. I accidentally selected the goddamn Meryl. And it almost died in one hit. And the Skarmory flinched. Ha 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 ha. They both flinched. Ha 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 ha. Kill them both! Be gone! Falter! Fall! That Meryl was so worthless. It did not even give me much experience. Good job, Luna. You are a good Pokemon. Ooh! Why is your... Why, my, why is... My Taylo, why is it not leveled up? I'm gonna have to look that up. You have a Swellow at level 19, yet I don't have my, 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 my beloved, my, my Taylo. My Nishimaka died a critical hit of rage. Good job, Zoom. Quit hurting the dog. Kill the bird. Kill the bird. Eat the bird alive. Night Fang held the bird still so Zoom could headbutt it over and over again. This is a dream, I'm sure of it. Uh, what? <gasps> Raz Luna is evolving! Oh, they grow up so fast, it's amazing! Isn't it grand? Good job, Luna. And we are here. And here we will pause for... Why, are, why is somebody using the computer? Okay, we're going to talk to them first, and then we're going to end the stream. Because that's just odd. Why are you using the computer? Why? Are you a technician? Oh, hello, you are? Okay, your name's Neon. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means you use the Pokemon storage system I developed. You developed? You're not Bill! How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could please visit me at my home house on Route 414. You're not Bill! Although I guess it could be that she's just the developer of this, like regions version because it is a vast spanning system but still but yeah watson was an asshole with that magneton the the manetric least of my issues i have no shame that i cheesed him out with potions <laughs> thank you striker you have earned your place on the team because it was your paralysis that allows me to cheese watson haha <laughs> And I got my, and I got my, my Routes, which has evolved into a Curlia. Yes. 
things have- this was- like, the first two hours was pain. The rest of it, great. And then that Skarmory came along. Get in the ball, Shinji. But, yeah, Pokemon Emerald is a lot of fun. Difficult compared to the Ruby and Sapphire, apparently, but nice. Still fun. And yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. I swear, content is coming eventually. Meh. And then if you want, st like, gaming content, there's my streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, in which I stream to it and then upload the streams so that they can be archived and watched by people in the future. Like my Mass Effect Trilogy playthrough, my Undertale playthrough, the various Pokemon games, Yellow Crystal and Blue Rescue Team I've played. They're all there. And if you prefer to watch on the apparently dying uh, platform Twitch, because Amazon and Twitch just love making bad decisions that piss off the community, meh. But if you want to watch there, it's twitch.tv slash neonicywings. I will stream there until they piss me off too much or ban me, I guess. Meh. And then if you want other things from me, like my little art character in the corner, you can follow me on various social medias, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, Newgrounds, the whole works. And links to them can be found through my link tree, which can be found directly as a link in various, like, bio bios, descriptions, link places, or just at the, like, URL linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Other such things also include my writing and Patreon. If you want to see the things I've written and will write, and as well as maybe throw a few bucks my way so the world will stop trying to kill me. Meh. So in 10 ads in a row will definitely turn viewers away. Not only that, just tons of other things. Like, apparently some kind of base user interaction thing for ongoing affiliates and partners so they can revoke that if they want, apparently. And as well as all of the, oh, we're trying to control what our streamers can do for ads of, and partnerships and promos in their own streams. But then we're going to come around and say the opposite. They're, it's just very slimy and weird and bleh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.